Welcome to another episode of Kanye Confessionals. I'm your host, Deshaun, here at Where Media Meets, in conjunction with VJ TV, Feral Films, History in the Making Entertainment, mm-hmm. uh, Keep It Cloudy Productions, another great Friday, you know, almost in the middle of August. Uh, what's happening? Hope everybody good, feeling good, doing good, pockets is good. Children is good, family good. You know? Kind of like everything. Everything. Yeah. Everything good. Oh, everything, everything beautiful. Everything beautiful. Amen. Trump House got raided. Like everything. Hey, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm yeah. We're gonna get into that. Yeah, we got some we got some shit to talk about tonight, y'all. I know we wasn't wasn't on last week. And then I know tonight, the post from earlier in the week was supposed to be I Stevie. We had some uh, schedule conflicts, so I Stevie will should be on next week, you know. So, apologize for that, but my man said he's coming next week, so let's get it going, you know. Let everybody introduce themselves this evening. What's going on? I go by the name of Zo One. Um, my artist educator out of Oakland, California. I'm blessed to be on this platform with my family here, Brother Rock. Oh yeah, yes, sir. Well, sure. since you're doing numbers, I go by Rock Three. Yeah. But you must be like Sean Two or something like that. I'm folk. You folk? folk. That's right. One three or folk. Yep. Yeah. Y'all know me, VJ TV. Yeah, you know. Period. So how y'all week been? It's been I, cool. We, we back to back to school, back to work. Yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah, kids is back in school. It's crazy, man. Traffic is summer back. just in. I had a month and a half of summer. How kids in school the second week of August? Well, right. That's blasphemy. No, the first week of the August. First, yeah. Some they kids went back to school last week. See, I'm week. sorry. That's just some bullshit. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm, real. I'm, I'm, we weren't looking forward to school to what? About September 12th? September 12th. After exactly. Labor Day. Yeah, like, yeah after Labor Day. We, 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 we didn't go to school after Labor Day. I don't know what's up with this new shit. Yeah. Cause they just, shit? I mean, they just got out in June and new, then they back to school in August. I don't, I don't get it. I'm sorry. I'm just like. My thing is, I think they, cause that? they gave them more holidays. Cause they got like janitor's day that that kids ain't in school. Uh huh. Yeah. Janitor's teacher's day. week. Uh, Cafeteria you know, supply te- attendant teacher day. Appreciation teacher week. teach appreciation. I enjoyed that. Week. I got hella food and nope. shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like they got so nope. many Manager holidays. Day. Oh, you be that. looking at your kids like, why are y'all home? Yeah, oh, you, you didn't know it's it's a uh, principal celebration day. Yeah, it's what fun. does that mean? It's lunch lady. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. That's some bullshit. Hairnet week, uh, yeah. man. But uh, yeah, that's, that's man. That's why. Yeah, I'm, that's I'm not bullshit. used to. I'm not used to school being. You know, my youngest is a senior now, so that's what's up. Yeah. Uh, that is off the chain, bro. You got a senior, bro. Yeah, that's the last one. I'm good. Man, congratulations. You got a senior. Uh huh. Right. Cheers to that. Matter of fact, let's get cheers. 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 Yeah, we're going to cheers that. Yeah, I might have to go find something. Yeah, you can it have a little bit of alcoholic stout. content in it, but, you know. Get you a stout or something. Yeah, I'm so, going to find something. It's been the, but the, between the last episode we did, there's been a lot of different shit in the news uh, and current events and whatnot. So, do we want to start there? Or do you want to start with you? Let's I'll let you. With, let's start with Zoe. Let's start let's with Zoe. Let's see who Zoe, Zoe talking Zoe. about. What you got going? Let's see who is. Let's see who Zoe what's, is. What's up, Zoe? Tell us what, what, you, what you do. What do I do? I, I do a whole lot. Um, Speak on it. Like I said, I'm a I'm an artist in multiple ways. Um, I like making music. You know what I'm saying? I got a, like eight albums out. You know what I'm saying? You said eight? Eight. I'm, I'm down to my, you feel me? I'm about to be on nine with this next project. But, what, how old were you when you did your first one? I think I was like mm, 12 or 13. Really? Yeah. What's up, Duck? What's up, Cat? You yeah. said you full albums, though? How many cuts yeah. on each album? Like 10 plus. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. Well, we got to hit up like, what, you got a SoundCloud or something? Good. Yeah, tell us no, people I just, where you uh, from. I just, uh, I just changed my name. I, I recently changed my name to Zo One because my name is Zo. But I was anti Hero 510 before that. That's right. But uh, So I'm starting with a new slate. New platform, you know what I'm saying? I just felt like it was time for, you know, a reinventing of self. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with going in the cocoon and coming back out. Yeah, we just trying to grow. 
That's what's we up. Build. Life is growth. That's it's, what's it's up. hilarious how, you know, I, I've been knowing Zell since he's about 10 years old. Mm -hmm. And uh -huh. then to see him as a grown man sitting here with him. Yeah. It's, <laughs> this man it's has all the, the files of me. I got footage of 10, years, 10, 11, 12 years old. Poetry. Put your YB, fist up. Put like, your fist up. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone. This man yeah. has it. You got all the blackmail photos. Yeah. Man, everything, <laughs> bro. The black male footage. I, I, I got all the footage, man. But yeah, man, just you know, just seeing this cat, you know, to the young man he is now. He's an educator. That's you know what, what I mean? Just just watching that mm -hmm. is cool. You know what I mean? Because everybody, like a lot of cats you see younger, they grow up and you know go the wrong way. Which you know, is, some different yeah. shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. But now there's I see more positive cats these days hey, than, you know back then which is cool yeah you know what i mean so i appreciate what you do no, your no, folks do the whole night that. man you're doing your thing you got your rap so where can we find your music that's what yeah. we need to know bro Try to so, that. um i mean right now on youtube um i mean on all platforms i'm still anti-hero 510 i'm about to make another profile to put my new music so you might have to wait on that because that okay. is going crazy just, just letting you know that but tell people um, where you from shoot i'm from oakland from the east the West, you know, that's man, important. I'm from everywhere. <laughs> I'm from everywhere. You know that's important in Oakland. My family is everywhere. That is. Oh. I'm, I'm in the heart of Oakland right now. I'm in the, um, I'm about downtown. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. You downtown, okay. I'm yeah, sir. You. Yeah, that's good. No doubt. And so you say you got Ram. What's happening? Uh, For the Ram. So you've got, you got several projects you've done. Mm -hmm. And where... What made you want to start rapping? Uh, really just, I mean, I was involved in music like my whole life. Like, I was in uh, like drum groups. Mm -hmm. um, I played the saxophone at one, one point. Okay. I always loved to listen to music and I always wanted to recreate it. So it's like when I heard, when I first started listening to rap, my mom ain't let me listen to rap until mm -hmm. I was like 10 and I started like sneaking off with my iPod, you know yeah. what I'm saying? listening to uh, like explicit lyrics and whatnot, I was like, okay, I could do yeah. this, you know what I'm saying? Because I was already like a drummer, so I was into rhythms and okay. poetry and, and stuff. You was in the band. Band camp. Yeah. That's what's up. Then I, uh, I joined a group called Young Gifted in Black, which mm -hmm. is like a poetry spoken word group. Yeah. And really Shout just out to all the spoken word. That's, 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 that's real. Real. Pen, pen game. Group. Yeah, for yeah. real. Pen game is immaculate. No doubt. Man, y'all performed a lot. Y'all performed yeah. in Africa, didn't you? Yeah, yeah we, we, went, we we toured Africa. Hear we that? toured uh, Trinidad. Mm -hmm. um, my big brother Bossy, on behalf of the group, went to Paris and France. Like, yeah, it was it was some pretty important stuff we was doing. You, you yeah. world traveler. Your pa you pa your passport got stamps. You know, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> got to got to got to see the world. Man. As as a young man, that's 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 a beautiful thing. Yeah, it was such a blessing, especially man. coming out of the town because. Mm -hmm. Like you said, a lot of people end up choosing wrong paths, or not even that. They don't get those opportunities. Yeah. And you've been, that's a blessing, bro. I yeah, want to salute real, you, man. young man. And a lot of uh, the people top. that you were working with, a lot of the uh, youth that you were working with, and young gifted and black is doing things now. Mm -hmm. Doing some things. Yeah. Man. So and that's, that's a beautiful thing. Give but, uh, credit Birdie. to, to, to Baba, Baba Ladari. You know what yeah, I'm saying? That's he, right. He created a whole and clan of just, he created <laughs> the Justice League. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mama yeah. Davis. Everybody, yeah. Mama Davis, for sure. Shout out to Brother Clark tuning in. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you, Brother Al Party. It was deep. That's what's up. So, yeah. I got a question. Uh, my brother asks, how has your pen elevated your mind? My pen elevated my mind. That's, ooh. I, I know, like that a, one. I got to write like that, that one down myself. I do. Um, oh really, goodness. just like, I say, just me wanting to ex express myself and and find deeper versions of myself and you know discover you know different kind of mentalities it's kind of it's kind of been like expanding my my mentality my my brain or whatever you know what i'm saying um just just wanting to rap and and learn more it's just i feel like just made me kind of want to learn more you know right <laughs> yeah saying. yeah but no that's a great question yeah so and being that you you've been in different countries, I, I've never been to Africa. I want to go. So um, you know that's 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 dope. Like I said, you traveling. I've been to a couple of countries. I ain't been to Africa yet. I'll be there though. It's, it's going to happen. happen. I give it to the universe all day. Melanated woman is God. Mm -hmm. Got to give it up to the queens. So you got projects coming out. Mm -hmm. When are they dropping? 
It's a great, great question. Um, I'm making an album called Black Love right now, and it's mm-hmm. scheduled to drop in December. Um, we're going to try to make that happen because we got, what, three, four months? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. we we in the finishing process, though. Um, you got four so months. I think I think we could December. do it. I just I'm I a December baby, so I know. You know I'm I can count down to my birthday, so I, yeah. I know when that's cracking. It's about to be crunch time in a second. But I'm working on some some other stuff. Like I got a um, my friend is a singer. I got an album with her. We got a little R and B joints on there. So okay. I'm trying to expand my my palette. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you was featured on a video called "I'm a King." Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's on YouTube. That's that is on YouTube. It's called "I'm a King" by Kingmakers of Oakland. Shout out, to shout out to Kingmakers. Shout out to Kingmakers. Shout out to Kingmakers. Right shout, yeah. um, shout out to Chris. Check out that video. That's one of the dopest videos, man. I'm a, uh, shout out to your hoodie. You got I'm the Kingmakers yeah, hoodie. Yeah, you, know. you got the Kingmakers hoodie. I'm, I'm a king, Yeah, that's a dope. Uh, if you yeah. if you listen to that song, man, it's it's really dope. So, yeah, you yeah, gotta listen to all all the albums. We got what three albums now? Right. Um, under Kingmakers, we all just making positive, you know, black affirming music. That's what's so, up. For the for the kids, for the adults, for everybody, you know what I'm saying? Okay, everybody everybody it's, say it's slack. It's so. good to see positive images of, of us because yeah. it, you look at society and what the, the mainstream media pre- represents their their representation of us is all music is um selling dope high. Right. Um uh females it's they got the you know, they 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 got the wet, the best pussy in the world, and <laughs> I, 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 they swallow the most dicks. Right, and, and, yeah. and, but if there's bars, they ain't doing it. But if they shell, yeah. shaking ass, or whatever, man, they own they own mm-hmm. the fucking billboard, yeah. top, to top, the top seven. But but the real He's tired, yep. The real witty word play, or just some uplifting, you know, essence of who we are type right. shit. That the, that the element of the game is missing. Don't give me. I say I ain't gonna say it's missing because it's not missing. Mm-hmm. Right. It's just not showcased mm-hmm. enough right. on on, on these much platforms. The stuff, Going yeah, back to like know? the Jungle Brothers, right? You know what I mean, yeah. yeah. You could be Ooh, with black salt. I mean, you know, we go there. We got our We go there. Yeah. Yeah. High road. Back. High road. Oh my oh, goodness. You know oh, my my so rhythm collection. Mm-hmm. The soul. Like man, come on, bro. Yeah. So that's that's what's up. That's dope. That's dope as hell. That's brilliant yeah, and beautiful. Man. I want to definitely wish you continued success and blessings and all what you're no, doing, I'm, young man. Appreciate that. This this, this is a good yeah, thing. And uh, we got current stuff to get in. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Get into that I know you can't you wait. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, Brett, oh, hold on. I got a qu- another question. Someone said, "How do you stay positive and grounded to make uh, to make you want to?" Hold on. Uh, nigga, no. <laughs> I'm I'm Uh-oh. I'm giving you a speaking spell, nigga. <laughs> How do you stay positive and grounded to make you want to make positive? See, I'm gonna try to paraphrase what the fuck you mean, nigga. <laughs> Basically saying. How do you stay positive and grounded to make the music, to make positive music? To make, okay. <laughs> That's a tongue yeah, twister. I know, I'm looking at this shit like, oh, you know, I'm going to read this shit like She sells, she sells. She sells sell by the seashore. By the and then she <laughs> sells ass by the liquor store. Yeah. No, I mean, for real, it's just really a, for me, it's a mindset. Um, and it's a life set, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You got to surround yourself with, with positive people, positive things. Do stuff you like, you know what I'm saying? Just you just always in that that mode, you know what I'm saying. But yeah. you also got to learn how to deal with the other shit, mm-hmm. right? And you just that's just part of being a human, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, and setting yourself on the mode which you want to be in, you know what I'm saying. I choose to be positive. You feel me? It's, I wake up, it's a choice. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? I don't yeah. want to be on no negative shit. Like, like the world you know, is already uh, negative uh, enough. I'm not right. Trying to and you don't ruin your right. day. That you makes sense. You wake, you wake up with two things: a chance and a choice. Come on. Hey, that's a that, bar. Like, What's good? See, White man, out. Good ones. We got to write these. My down. God. I hear that in a song. Yeah, you got <laughs> a chance and a choice. My yeah, man, man, I'm trying tune, to get with this, bro. Tune in. Oh, yeah. Appreciate you, my guy. Always, always. What's good? Man. Um, So, yeah, that's that, that's good. Because you're looking at, you wake up in the morning, there's always something going on. Mm-hmm. It's always, always some bullshit. Literally. You got, you got 50 trillion zillion million billion things mm-hmm. negative mm-hmm. that you can that you can give your attention to every right. day exactly automatically 
because they're there and they're force fed to you intentionally. Right. To drain your 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 uh yeah, your chief. Part of that is realizing that. A lot of people don't realize that. They just no. think everything is negative for real. You know, and, right? But and but there's so many yourself. more positive things that you could focus on mm-hmm. if you knew what to focus on. Mm-hmm. Right. You know how to center your shit, you know. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. Um but you know, this crazy world we live in is crazy. There's, like, there's a lot going on. Him. You know the funny thing when you're talking about that, I think when, when Trump was president, I used to laugh mm. at everything. On television. Oh, oh yeah, I'm I ready to get to, on this helmet tonight. Oh my God! I used to. Now, if Farrell gets, I, I, I want to hear Farrell's comments I on this shit too. I used to just too. laugh because he did so much stuff, and I just I walk away from the TV going, "I love this." Jordan, guy. what's up, my brother? He just do what he do. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it was just hilarious to me. Right, and and speaking of the buffoon, <laughs> you know, I, it's you give shit to the universe, and it's always a beautiful thing when. Here. You uh you allow the universe to run its course, which you always should. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't. The thing is, you 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 let you let you let people be who they are. First and foremost. You know, we got my man, my gracious co-host in the building, Farrell the most. What's up? You let people be who they are. You know what I'm saying? And and Trump, for the most part, forever has been running his mouth and having so much to say about this and that and the third and the fifth and the sixth and mm-hmm. he know the, the, the third shoot on a grassy knoll mm-hmm. and all that. You know what I'm saying? That, by the way, he said it was Ted Cruz's father. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, Espendido. Uh, <laughs> but the thing about it is the power of the universe, you know, the Pilgrim just got raided by the feds. Mm-hmm. Right. And mar lago or whatever his little compound is, mm-hmm. you know, and... uh. Crazy. I want to know y'all feelings on that. Let's talk about that. What's up, Mike? This is Chambers. Who's had the main cream factory in the building? Well, one thing that I feel about it is, is that it truly classifies how stupid the average American is. Yes. <laughs> that there is literally half the country who's going to say, first he said they planted evidence. How they then, he said, the then he said... Everybody does it, even Barack Obama. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the next is going to be that they just persecute him because he's Trump, but there's never any actual accountability or anything like that. Everybody. And there's millions of people out there who are almost willing to die for this man. Right? Mm-hmm. And that's, that's that's really a scary thought. In fact, one just had a, tried to run, run up in the FBI building, ended yes. up in a shootout, mm-hmm. and they left his brains on the freeway. But there's... <laughs> there's Take that so, and just as a warning to a lot of y'all, when y'all out in public places and Doing things like shit. that, be alert, be vigilant, because we really got some people running around amongst us who will there want to like shoot that. people that look like us mm. because somebody on Reddit or 4chan or something is telling them this is what they should do. So y'all right. when y'all out in public, I'm not There's saying news? be scared. Mm. On Reddit? There's news on Reddit? I thought Reddit was only porn. Oh, my bad. Hey, <laughs> bro. I, I ain't trying to scare y'all to say don't be places because I'm damn sure going to be places, but I am vigilant. And if somebody looks weird to you or somebody giving you a weird vibe, pay, pay attention. Pay attention. Just, just watch yourself. Pay attention Amen. to your Amen. gut. Your gut never lies. Amen. But now, it's funny. The, the funny shit about it, though, the person that he appointed to lead the, the head the FBI yeah. <laughs> is what we're gonna while they on the internet What's talking the about work? Democrats wow. persecuting him. No, it's his own man. Oh, which tells me but he got a job really to do. Guilty. But means got you got a job. job. No, which which says well, this is my job. Country, my duties is not to you. My duties is to my yeah. duties. Right or wrong, wherever it leads. What does the next say? I'm for the truth, no matter who it's for, no matter who, who it's against. against. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And that's how a lot of us should be in all aspects of our life. Like, hey, I'm just for right, no matter who it's for, you know. Exactly. Just like now, I've been watching clips. Now, some of the charges they're talking about is uh, pos- uh, espionage, mm-hmm. which is oh, I'm um, back in the old days they shoot you for that. Um, Straight firing squad. Uh, double tap, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Two to the head. Now he's dead. Bye bye. <clears throat> Put your ass in the ice block. With no heater. So, there was a clip I seen of Trump, and this was while he was president, if I'm not mistaken. 
and talking about other cases of people who pleaded the fifth. Yeah. And uh, in the mafia, why you take the fifth if you're not guilty and yada yada yada. But what this motherfucker do? Four hundred times. Let me use. Let me borrow something from the great Dave Chappelle. One, two, three, four, fifth. <laughs> fifth. Fifth. You'd have thought he was an alcohol store. You'd have thought he was total wine. Yeah, He's the yeah. fifth. But hey, that many fifths he would have died from alcohol poisoning. Yeah. It's, it's, but that's why it's, it's, it's funny when, you know, remember the old school saying it like you pissing on high cotton and you just think you're highfalutin and you think you're the, you think you that guy. He said highfalutin. You, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That yeah, way. you know what I'm saying? I got to go old school. You know what that's what I'm like Coast I'm a 70s baby. You know what I'm saying? My grandma used to tell me, use your head for more than a hat rack, Jack. And for oh, man. <laughs> We got You'll get that at 3 in the morning. My grandma had to be kin, folks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's funny and very ironic that the shit he was talking about people taking the fifth, mm-hmm. he sat there and took the fifth. 400 times. Fifth. <laughs> Five times 400 is your mama that day. Go get the abacus. For you motherfuckers born in the 70s. Everybody else got an he iPhone, said, no the answers. The abacus. He said the abacus. But he did say the abacus. Did you also <laughs> see? Because he can't hi- he can't use Giuliani old crooked ass. So he hired uh, a lawyer that was uh, Gucci Man. Uh, but uh, the lawyer that he got yeah, now. Gucci Man called a strike. <laughs> hey, it's some rapper's lawyer. I'm like, oh, oh. the real Gucci Man or the clone Gucci Man? The real Gucci Man, dead. Okay. Yeah, he's yeah he died in that prison bed. Yeah. They replaced him. Okay, I don't, I don't. Come on, go hide the truth from the people now. <laughs> I will not confirm or deny what I don't know. <laughs> it's, there's a lot going on in the world, y'all. It's just below the surface. You gotta pay attention. You gotta Are watch you t- the news three o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. Three. No, you don't watch the news at three. When you yeah, I do. the news comes to you at three in the morning when you're in line with what you're I supposed to be in line three. with. Mm-hmm. You hey, you stuff. know what's the Ooh. funny thing about when you say that mm-hmm. is that I talked to somebody and I said, "Oh, my partner always say that," and then they said that there's such things like remember the old folks would call it the witching hour. This yeah, the witching hour. He said, but around witch three hour. o'clock, it's the world is so still. That if there is information coming to you, like your download, yeah. that's when they come. And I said, man, I got to too. tell this man, he always, you'll get that at 3 in the morning. Yeah. Every that's time, actually a real everything thing. Happens I, that's why I say what I say. That. That. Everything is in three. That's why I everything say what I happens say. happens at 3 in the morning. I give y'all gems. It's just on everything y'all to is in threes. see if I'm, what I'm, to learn what I'm talking about. Well, I've been getting that gem for a year, and I just realized it really was a gem. So I'm going to give you your flowers right now. I give it I give it to y'all. I just can't outright always. He said what it is. Fried chicken is about three o'clock. I might get double tapped in the parking lot in in line for one of them Popeye's chicken sandwiches and shit. You'll get that at three in the morning. (laughs) (laughs) You know, I might be in line for a chicken sandwich or one of them. What's the what's the newest shit? That big, oh that that shit around raisin the corner, cane. raisin cane. That that, see, that chicken season with chicken. water and uh, they taking trays out there. Water and slave tears. I mean that shit. Put you like this. Let me give you the trick to raisin cane. Just go in there. And get <laughs> hey Rob, sauce. what's good? Just go in Aunt, there and get some that? sauce and dip that because if you eat an actual chicken, you eat nothing. It tastes like cardboard. But it's all in the sauce, so you can just go get the sauce. Be like, just give me the sauce. That's some game. Yeah, because the they actual don't want chicken. To in fact, go get some Carl's <laughs> Jr. chicken strips. Work smarter, and not Carl harder. Cane sauce. Hey, yep. Hey, matter of fact, hold on. Remember, the, remember the beef people went after uh, the the big heavy set uh, billionaire black chick years ago when she talked about them. Y'all oh, know who I'm talking Queen about. Oprah. <laughs> so I ain't gonna talk. I ain't talking about that. Uh, I ain't even had it, so I really can't. Give, I can't say that is. Tastes like it was uh, we purified gonna, in the waters of Lake Minnetonka, and then put in, chicken, uh, put in some Crisco. I can't say that honestly. I can't give a true uh, <laughs> review because I haven't eaten it, and I won't. But yeah. I'm just saying, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I, will I, say not. I haven't I had really water fried really. chicken before. I will say this <laughs> much about Oprah. A few years back, my nephew got a chance to meet her and said what he was trying to do. Is that boiling and chicken and cornmeal? Him, she wrote him a check. <laughs> she wrote, not only did she write him a check for 10 G's, but with her endorsement, he raised about three more hundred thousand for his campaign. So Oprah did put him in the game. So she, yeah. if you got a chance to I get at her, she I ain't mad at any of these gate-holding you know, millionaires, moves. billionaires. Yes, I am. Fuck them. Anyway, so... She is. <sighs> 
Yeah, I take your money, but the shit y'all. Never mind. Maltisa? That's, that's yeah, Maltisa? Maltisa? Yeah, y'all better, yeah, y'all better stop. Y'all better stop putting people, putting basic humans on these platforms. Yeah. No, this <laughs> a special human. I done met I'm not a lot mad of humans over, in this I ain't saying nothing. I'm I've met a lot of humans, and let me say so. <laughs> Some of them aren't that special. They're so if one is special, They're I would give her her special. flowers. No, so. yeah, yeah, she doing shit. She okay. making schools in Africa for little girls and doing mm-hmm. stuff. I, I salute and respect all that. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah, I, I ain't hating. Yeah, that's, that's I'm not hating. I just talk shit. Why? Because I can. I, mean, I live right. in America. In the North Amex. Excuse <laughs> me. Not America. I live. You know where I live, motherfuckers. But back to uh, the white dude with the big ass triple chin. Oh, God. Pleading the fifth. So they just basically, they just trying to set him up so he doesn't run again. Exactly. It's That's all, all they want. They don't want him to run again. It's all pinball. Yeah. Cause it's they, a pinball game. Because he can't run again. And they trying to do everything in their power. Because not he's set up. Yeah, he's, it's set up for him to run again. Different. You got to understand this game. If no, you look at the prism. You got to understand what I mean by bag the different. Of uh-huh. course they want to stop him. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, he's they're powerful. not making up shit or taking shit out of context to right. slander him. Right. They're actually catching Presenting. him on things that he's actually doing. Right. right. No, now, that, you're he right. doesn't do no, those sense. things you're that right. have no fuel. But think about it. To, right. uh, you know, to go after him. Think about it. What's that? You got Sleepy Joe and sometimes... For the people, Kamala. Now, if Joe too old and Kamala <laughs> decides to run, are we gonna get behind her? I'm, I'm. See, I almost said something sexist about getting behind her, and I'm not. That's a <laughs> doggone shame. Speaking of dog, no. <laughs> I'm just I mean, joking. Cam- Kamala is well. I put like together. talking shit tonight, y'all. I'm sorry. Don't take it personal. Mm-hmm. I'm really just joking. Kamala is well put together. I ain't gonna lie. I'm cool. cool. Yeah. I'm cool. Kamala, know how I feel. I'm cool. I told her in front of 18 Brian in the, in the city one time. Like, oh, when she was you prosecuting me. She when she was prosecuting me. Like, right. Missile aimed at 150. Like, these niggas uh, is dude. talking about Hey, for real, though. Watch. Hey, they're going to be like, hey, there the nigga go right there. Here you yeah, go. There you go. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go on record and say, Kamala is the prettiest vice president we've ever had. All vice hey, president what's up, men? Kenneth? My cousin Kenneth is in the comments what's and he said something. Oh, he said, oh, yeah. Ken said, hold on. I'm going to go to his other comment. He said, yeah, I got a question. Who killing more niggas? KKK, white supremacists, or us? Niggas, no. KKK, or white supremacists? Well, niggas. I think all KKK and are white supremacists. So, who's killing more niggas? Them or us? Actually, ooh, because this had, I'm, I'm finna go to that uh, that Supreme Court uh, decision that's got made. Do you really want to know who's killing more niggas? Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Do you really want to know who's killing more niggas? Give me the 11 yeah, o'clock on version. Yeah. Speak on it, man. Who's killing more niggas? I need the 11 o'clock version. You need the 11 o'clock version? Okay. Speak. So, I'm not going to call y'all black because you not black. That's something else you'll get at 3 in the morning. So, stop calling yourself black. You 11 o'clock niggas. version, bro. Okay. You have an established establishment that has been sucking the life out of you, literally, pun intended, for years, of course you have the black on black crime, which is basically just crime because white on white crime is the same as well. It's crime, so mm-hmm. let's not <laughs> sectionalize the shit. Mm-hmm. But then you have so at the clan and at that institution together, it equals more than what the niggas are doing to each other. Yeah, amen. Come on. Just keeping it a buck. Because there's so many crimes that don't get reported that you don't know about that people are missing because you got you got hundreds of thousands of melanated queens that are going missing every year mm-hmm. and they're never thought about. But y'all y'all want to bring Brittany Griner back because she got weed over in Russia. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fuck that. Anyway. <coughs> in fact, forget Brittany Griner. Free my brother. Uh-huh. This motherfucker's over here that got weed and got more years and we don't hear a peep from you niggas. Okay, y'all, what y'all fake caring about today? But to address what Kenneth is saying, though, is that if you look in the grand scheme of things, you should never be mad at the person that pulled the trigger. Mm -mm. Be mad at the person that sent them. Come on. So a lot of black, (laughs) young black people are living in context and environment where where you combine the self-hatred and the inner depression and all that, that they react very violent towards each other. So it's easy to look on a superficial level and be like, 
oh, it's the blacks killing the blacks. No. Mm-hmm. But if you look at who created the context and the scenario within mm-hmm. the, in the, the framework within this exists, it's white supremacy. Thank so you. I can say, on one hand, okay, the brothers should have more personal responsibility than killing each other, right? But I can't focus the blame on them and let the person who's actually responsible for this slide off into the sunset. Let's hear from a sister. Right, because you also have... Oh, What do you, you think? Want, you want to chime in, sister? Yes, let's get a please, female bro. point of view. Black yeah, come here. But please, uh, come to please, us. Respectfully. Ladies and gentlemen. Of the analogy of black on black crime. And Ladies and gentlemen, and please welcome. Coming to hey, the Kenya. stage. What's happening? Who on in? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Kenyell watching. Hey, Kenyell is watching. Give your name. She got to come down one day. Yeah. Oh, what name she should I go saying. by? Or what, what name do they call me? Just pop your collar and that's the name. Tell them what to do. Okay. Um, no, I'm Please serious. speak freely. So... Yeah, I would say that you're absolutely right that white supremacy is the largest group, you know, historically over centuries that actually kills the black population and yes. people of color of, you know, worldwide. So, I mean, the factors are that you're thinking of just not the judicial system. You're also thinking about, you know, the policing system. You think about the medical system. You think about the school system. Mm. Thank you. You think about the city she officials. You are thinking mm. about a lot of different factors, she and you know, for being a black woman who had a black son, being in, uh, who gave birth in the hospital, the worst kind of care you can get, and the more um, mortality <laughs> for black women and ch- infant children are yes. in the hospitals. So um, you know, it's a factor that's been going on for you know centuries. It's it's highly. I'll say they're very highly de- dedicated to their craft. Yes, they are. <laughs> they're fucking experts. And they're experts, and they're changing, you know, the narrative every day. And so to give it a pin, pinning back and forth of to say that, you know, it's you black people that are doing it to mm. yourselves, even though the black people that are actually killing themselves have a hired hitman up behind them. So someone is paying them to do so to kill other black folks. Somebody puts a quarter in the back of that rabbit. But, uh... Come on. You got any other questions you want to be answered? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you. Can that answer your question, sir? That's my son's mother. You look like you could be her sister. Snap. I was like, everybody's sister, man. <laughs> no, real shit. That, that's, 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 that's the real. You know, I try to be, I, you know, I try to do jokes with my gems. Mm-hmm. And, you be and never take me too serious, but believe what I say. Um, Speaking yeah, of her medical really. experience, I worked for 15 years at Alton Bates Hospital. Mm-hmm. And I once got suspended because due to the nursing shortage, they started bringing in a lot of what they call traveling nurses from the South. And a lot of them didn't understand that they were in the Bay Area. And one of them was from Alabama. And there was an elderly black man who came in, and he was about 80 years old. Mm-hmm. And dude kept calling him. His name was William, and mm-hmm. dude kept calling him Willie. Mm-hmm. Oh. Now, I noticed that he would call his white patients, regardless of the age, Mr., mm-hmm. ma'am, missus, but this 80-year-old black man, he kept calling him Willie, mm-hmm. and I checked dude over that, like, hey, show him the same respect yeah. that, you know, because I worked in the emergency room, and I often saw firsthand how poorly the med- we get treated with help, pain medication, Ooh. the whole nine and stuff, and I actually got suspended, even though they acknowledged that mm-hmm. dude was wrong for calling this 80-year-old man, with, giving him a nickname. Mm-hmm. But I, my, I was hostile in my approach, so mm-hmm. I got suspended for three days for being hostile, even though they acknowledged that what I was saying was a genuine, valid concern that older African-American patients were not receiving the same level of care on, from, this, from this particular nurse. And that's pretty much across the board. Yeah. In labor, on maternity board, wards, and that, that we do not receive the same standard of care. So a lot of y'all, what they used to do back when I was a youngster, if you hear so-and-so in the hospital, the whole family would go up there. Mm-hmm. And the thinking would be, well, if they see that he got family, they won't right. dog him. But we kind of got away advocate. from that. But if, but, if, but if one of your family members or even somebody from the neighborhood, they saying they're in the hospital, go there, show up, let the people know. That, that somebody, they got, they got an advocate. Exactly. Same thing with like and you look at senior care homes and mm. all these places. Show up, because like like you said, the the, st- the statistics of the melanated woman in the 
medical field when it comes to childbirth, mm -hmm. postpartum, medical procedures, everything. The mortality rate is way higher for our sisters. Six in, times. In but you know what's ridiculous about that? Group. When we look at but when we look at Becky and we look at but the sisters. But we live we live in the stronger. technological age How we dying? and science of where there's no reason seriously. Yeah. There's no reason right now. And it's one of them gyms you'll get at three in the morning. So I'm gonna give it to y'all plain. There's no reason right now with the science and what's known that any disease is allowed to prevail. I said it. True. There's no reason why. And look on and in regards to that female maternity rate that you're saying, when you think six about, weeks, go back to work, boo. Think about mm. how physically stronger the average black woman is than a lot of Why are you black? You're not black. You stop putting women Melanated in the, in the women. crayon box. But I'm just saying, though, is that when you Crayola. look at the physical strength that many of our mothers and our grandmothers had, and we see how tough they is, how they can persevere through anything. They have no choice. How on earth is they? How on earth is they dying at six times the rate? That means they're getting because if they're anything, even if it ain't equal, and if it's just enough. better. No, you it know? means they're being overdosed with medication. Right. Exactly. Mm. You're, that you're, means you're, they're you're, being you're, Your body is being dumbed down enough to where it's susceptible to any disease, mm. any yeah. pathogen that will take you out. Well, so I say that to say, once again, go if ahead. your people's in the hospital or something like that, take that time. Show up. Let the people know that your people have someone that's concerned about them mm -hmm. and they're not just going to get mistreated or die and it ain't going to be no fight. No, you have to be around the clock. It's just like what I say for um, black women, you advocate for your uh, black men from, you know, conception to death. Mm -hmm. There's no in between, you know, from the time of conception to the death, you are advocating for black men, well, you know, and so especially when you're in the hospitals, um, you know, I've definitely experienced this a lot. You know, you have to be a person that's going to have them put things into the chart. Yes. You have to have like, I had a, like a binder. Of, of every single <laughs> medication. Just like activity. one of the things that a lot of people don't know and don't do is like as you go to the doctor and you tell them, hey, I want to get this test or whatever. And they're, oh, no, nah, you're too young. You're this, that. You're... And most people through, oh, you're the doctor. You know what you're talking about. They let it go. But you'd be like, no, I want it. When you start telling your doctor, no, I want it in my chart that I told you I wanted to do this. And you said, oh, no. You don't want to do it because of whatever. You need to start doing that because that holds your doctor accountable. So when it comes to malpractice, when it comes to all these different things of where we know our bodies, and don't get me wrong, as black men, we're hella delayed when it comes to taking care of ourselves. True, we are, we are. We know that. But the times you go to the doctor and say, hey, man, I, uh, I was trying to get tested for... Uh, colon cancer and shit when I was 18, 19. They were like, bro, dude, you hella young. No. I was like, hey, man, I, I just hear about it. I'm just... But me, just, they were like, oh, you young. You, I'm like, okay, you bypass it. But people have... Show me somebody under 18 that hasn't had cancer. I can show you plenty. I, I know of less than two-year-olds who have passed from cancer. So different types of cancer, but mm -hmm. that... Oh, oh no! Don't worry about it. You're good. You got to wait. It needs to be this, this, and this. That they that information that they give you that you take and receive because oh you you went to school and sat in front of somebody and you all a diploma says is I'll complete an assignment. You that's what all it means. Because mm. colon cancer <laughs> and prostate cancer are two of the things that really kill black men. And that's because we don't seek medical care. Hey, that's real talk, Those too. Those are actually two very beatable cancers. But yeah. by the time the average Early brother detection. Gets, gets, gets notice that we have it, it's often at the too late stage. Too late. So, so those things, if you ain't going to do nothing else, be preempt be preemptive on colon cancer and prostate cancer. Mm -hmm. And if your doctor poo poos it or be like, ah, it ain't time yet, be I like, need it documented in my chart that I yeah. told you because like when it comes to life insurance, different things. Mm -hmm. You show you gotta be your own advocate. Yeah. Just like You can't go with the you can't afford to go with the flow. Just like you go get your car detail, what's one of the besides new car smell, what's one of the car the scents that most people put in their car? Rainforest. It's another one. The tree, the pine, the, the cherry? tree. No, the, the what scent do people? A lot of people get in their car, and it's a, a cologne. What, what's what's one of the nicest Family? smells? 
Sandalwood, yeah. Mm-hmm. The vanilla sandalwood? I'm so I got my joint. Come on, I'm giving y'all a hint. I'm pimping. What, oh. paprika? Potpourri? Come on, I'm pimping. You sprinkle them. I'm it? hoping y'all get it. This is weed? I'm, I'm glad y'all don't get it. So, baby powder. Oh. oh. I've never Remember, gotten that in my car. You get the baby powder tabs. You put the new car. You got new car smell, baby powder. Baby powder is one of the nice, genuine smells that are. That I got the sure it, it, baby it, powder. It, it, the other one. Your receptors are very receptive to the smell of baby powder. Are we sure? Because yes. we put baby powder in the new car. Yeah. I mean, I'm working baby powder right this very yeah. moment. Cologne. Are you new car? Baby powder. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm, I mean, it's some miles on me, but but <laughs> now <laughs> remember. <laughs> <laughs> two two <Wow>. said we. <laughs> wow. Baby powder is a, is is a is a very relaxing smell. Mm. So, but remember, Johnson and Johnson got found liable for it because it causes ovarian cancer and yes. whatnot. And they've been pushing baby powder product on women for years. Uh, yes. The community of color and uh, black women exactly. of color definitely and infants. So now, exactly, good baby powder, hence the name. Put it on your kids. We're going to start fucking y'all up young. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But now, now they've just uh, seen, and I just saw it, and I didn't research it enough, but they're going to discontinue the sale of baby powder completely globally now. Hmm. Well, it's interesting they didn't do it after that lawsuit continued. Exactly. Finished, you know what I'm saying? And I just saw this today. But that's not the only product. Like, when you're talking about with, with men having cancer, Hey, right, Doug. Like, at different ages, like uh-huh. there's so many products for women, you know, especially that are marketed out to African American women and black women, you know, what I'm saying women of color, you know, that are in our hair products. You know, yeah. herms have you know conditioning that causes sterilization, you know, sterilization, all type of neurology, breast yes. cancer, and like all of these different things that we have in our regular products. We have makeup, you know, nail polish, a lot of things that happen in the you know certain nail shops with all those different chemicals and things like that on a regular basis are things that lead to lung cancer and things like that. Mm-hmm. So. A lot of things are like environmental then they're advertised to you know to yeah. women so it's just like it's not just i mean you have to advocate for your health regardless you know yes. and that's something that should be like you know not just a regular education for yourself but you know within your group and your fam- family groups mm-hmm. you know to educate yourself on you know yeah. how much product you're using when you need to take a break from products like people say i can say you know i'm gonna stop drinking for like a month but no one says i'm gonna stop wearing nail polish or makeup or herm or something like that for mm-hmm. like a month. you so, can you die know, from there's drinking so many too much that water you, need to, you know just and, certain, and, you know, food products as well. But I'm just saying, like, we want to be conditioned. We want to be so fly. We want to look a certain way. But at the same time, in our society, a lot of things are, you know, you, you we're being so much dosed with so many chemical products. And I remember there was this movie way back in the day, and I, I don't know if you can say it, but it was like Batman. And there was that one scene mm-hmm. in the first one where they, where they were talking key. about, like, you can't use so many chemicals because, you know, it had, we, we, all, we stopped using all of these chemicals and everything like that because it has such and such and such just like that. That wasn't just, mm-hmm. like, a little sly in there. That, that was, was a major truth. Real shit. You know, that, that, that we don't know what we can actually put on because it's kind of killing us. It's just mm-hmm. like, remember Black Dynamite? When they yes. was talking about the beer, the, what they put in the beer, they said, and the, the, the synonym, whatever it was, was drinking this makes... What's up, peaches? Your wee-wee small. Look at the effects of super prolonged alcohol consumption. Mm-hmm. You got problems. You need to go get them roots. And they got natural stuff for that, y'all. All y'all going out there to get that. Shout out to other the black stuff. women that love us anyway. Yeah, wow. you know what I'm saying? Get them 47 pumps, now baby. That's us. it. But everything in moderation. So. But to go back to what the sister was yeah, saying. Let's go for it. It's uh, basically when you was talking about advocacy and you was talking about the different things like that, that goes back to the theme of you, as a black person, as a melanated person, Thank you. you cannot afford to be a passive passenger in your life. You have to be willing to advocate for yourself. You have to be willing to educate yourself. You have to be willing to be, a lot of people hate the word woke, but don't let the white boys don't let the bastardization of the term. The real meaning of woke is to say, I see what's going on, and I'm going to be proactive because I see what they're doing to us. So basically be an advocate for yourself and be an advocate for your loved ones, and you can improve your conditions because there's so many things from the chemicals, the makeup, the this, the that, the waivers, the the, the burgers at McDonald's. There's so many things that they put in that, that... 
and then the institutionalized aspects. We Fox are under atta- we, under, we mm-hmm. are under attack, so we can't afford to be casual. Thank you. We gotta be woke. We gotta be alert. We gotta be aware. Mm-hmm. And each one teach one. For real. You ain't gotta be a reverend on the on the thing, but each one teach one is a real thing. Hey, they'll pass you niggas by like a segregated bus. Oh. Man, like it's the thing to do. I'm gonna drink to that. Mm-hmm. Sheesh. You gotta be on it. So is and that something else you get at three o'clock in the morning? Yeah. <laughs> you get that at three in the morning. Three in the morning. Three in the morning. Hey, y'all. Been, hey, did you see I'm that video? I'm glad you. Got, I'm glad you got that, bro. I'm, I've been. You know, I drop gems. You hey, know, but I, did you see that video? Which one? There's a video going around that's viral of a sister who I guess was in the park in Atlanta mm-hmm. after hours. Did y'all see this? Mm-mm. And the and the cop... Uh, mm-hmm. and, and oh, the cop, she yeah. had the headband thing yeah. on? Yeah. So, and the cop uh, that decided that. He had the hey. mask on, right? Yeah. I, yeah. 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 Hey, I do, almost uh, yeah. think he, that that's the line between... Because I see a lot of my that's, brothers mm-hmm. who I know... Basically he, he, hate black women, yeah, and they're cheering dude on. That's what she gives for the authority. You can't, and I'm like, there's no what? circumstance, no I, situation. I don't care what her supposed to be attitude yeah, was. That I'm going to see watch a, 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 a police officer, black do or white, man, manhandle the no sister and be like, yeah, yeah that's mean, what she gets. Nah, that's some bullshit. On that's no, what you, what on no planet. That is, that's when I saw that me. video, and I, I wanted to talk about that tonight yeah. too, so I'm glad you we going right into mm-hmm. it. You haven't so, seen it? No. Can you, it's very disturbing. It's, it's very disturbing because, I mean, for one, you got it. A man is, and I, I'm, I'm going to say this before I even go into my spiel. Uh-oh. A man, you're a man. Unless you a uh, short, short dude, and she towers over you, nine times out of ten, you're stronger than a woman. You don't need to uh, really flex your masculinity on a woman. I I, I get those, there are those, in, those instances of where they hit you and your reflex. I understand that slightly, but to manhandle a woman, I think that's some cowardly ass shit. I'm just going to say that. First and foremost, I don't care. In, in any form, domestic violence, just like, we're going to talk about this and then it's the other thing I want to talk about. So, dude was a cop. One, you abused your authority as a cop. Okay. You manhandled the sister. Now, I didn't, I, the parts of the video I saw, I, get, I didn't see the part. I guess she didn't want to sign the ticket at first. Then she said she would sign the ticket. And he was like, nope, I already gave you chances. And she like, why are you doing this? And he tried to, I mean, manhandle her. And I'm like, dude, this is, those are one of the things where if I'm there, and I'm being honest, if I'm there, I'm like, well, what the fuck is you doing? We, yeah, I, we No, nah, dude, it's a, if you're going to arrest her, arrest her respectfully. First and foremost. A I, ticket. No, this is a black cop. <laughs> that these coon ass these coon ass and I'm uh, Uncle Sam is not the term. I'm just another thing you niggas will get at three in the morning. Uh, calling people I'm seeing Uncle Tom is not the term. Uncle Tom was cool. Oh, it was the other yeah, motherfucker. So y'all need to switch your verbiage. Well one thing I wanna add to it is is that one thing he I was wanna doing add too much. to it is that a lot of people saying, well, he gave her chances, he gave her opportunities. Mm-hmm. Well, any of us who've ever watched the, worked a professional job, we know certain ways to aggravate people with and still make it look like we were being professional. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We know certain things. Like, I, uh, I worked with a guy who was an ex-cop, and he said one of the tricks that they taught him to get a reaction out of black people is when you pull them over, just say license and registration. And when they say, why did you pull me over? Just say license and registration. He said that gets an extreme reaction. Like this was the cops was telling him as a rookie that if you want to have an excuse to search the car or pull them out the car and, and do something to them, don't tell a black person why you pulled them over. He said that was a trick that they were taught when wow. he was a sheriff. Exactly. To just, to just keep you saying. You know why I pulled so you over? I'm like, no. If you kept I, every, but if you kept I got pulled over the today. And you keep saying, why'd you pull me over? And he keeps saying, license and registration. He That's a trained me. technique to get you to react emotionally so then he can place you under arrest and search your car. Exactly. And stuff like that. Never, so never it's give like, the game. So even though people are saying, well, this cop, Gave her a chance, isn't that? 
That man is a trained police officer. Mm-hmm. He knew you know what he, doing what he was yeah. doing to fuck with her. Because at no, the end of the day, if it was truly about getting her to sign the citation, when she finally complied, he could have had her sign it, and they could have went on about their business. It was an yeah, ego yeah. thing. He, exactly. Because you had when somebody filming. Refused, mm-hmm. Now, now here's the thing yeah. about it. I'm going to be devil. My, 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 I'm going to play my devil's advocate role. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. sorry, real quick. I'm, 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 it's, it's, it's a weak argument. Okay, okay. I'm just telling y'all that. But I have to, as a, you know. As a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a person, you, you, they're like White House said, which you don't play with them people to a certain extent. You, you have to understand where you are, who you're dealing with. You have to. Mm-hmm. We can't come across, I'm not, I, like I said, I didn't see the whole video before, so I don't know. Yeah. No, the the sure. whole context of how it got to that point. I just mm-hmm. saw the part where she was like, well, I'm finna sign the ticket. I didn't see none of the, you didn't sign it before when she refused. I didn't see none of that. So I don't know how she responded to him. I saw the whole thing. Okay. And my thing was, if it was truly I, about getting her to sign, when she finally was like, okay, I'll sign it, I, here's the his thing. ego was hurt, like you I, said. I, I, I can get that. That's and I, this, Without me seeing that. But at the same time, I'm I'm pissed off just by seeing her manhandled. I don't mm. know the full context of it, but my mm. initial reaction is you're a man. You manhandling this woman. And I'm watching the video right now. I see every reason to. why he was trying to manhandle that woman and take her by himself. He did not call for anybody else. He just he's call for a female officer for one. Um yeah. I, she, I got you white. I hear you, White. Like you got to watch the whole video. I get that. That's yeah, why I'm yeah. doing. That's why I'm doing my devil's advocate stance. There was no. I didn't see that part where he went. So that, I didn't. I don't feel that. But regardless, I don't feel that it's necessary. Let's say she didn't sign a ticket. You have her license. You have her and registration. She's under arrest. She has. You have that. If she doesn't sign it, then you all you have to do she's is legally arrest. you send it to them in the mail. No, you, you don't can, sign the ticket. You're under arrest. Then you can be. But, you know, other people don't all automatically always get taken at that time frame. You know what I'm talking mm. about. You're you know right. I know that. Other particulars of colors don't get taken at that time. So what do they, they send it to your home, you know what I'm saying? And then they start, you know, yeah. taking particulars of, you know, your, your home address, your last known address, so they come to your work and everything like I that. Get that. You don't, like, there's different ways to get to that point. You not, not need to get to that point of, you know, physically restraining a woman. Like this. That's where that's where my shit is at. Excuse you don't, but you don't. That's what I'm saying. You didn't need. There was no. There was no need for that. There was no need for that. You could have sent that to her in the mail, and just been done he with got, it. He got a. He got a. He got a. He got a. You the know, worst he got place a quote. for a black woman to be is in the back of a police car with a lone police officer. Sandra Bland. Mm-hmm. Before even she got to that point. This, before that, it's the worst place for a black woman to be. Yes, exactly. It's the worst agree. place for a juvenile to be in the back seat of a person of a police car. It is mm. just it just is. So if you but, don't have you know like if they aren't using like rules of I'm engagement, with you, Aunt. rules of engagement for police officers, they don't use. You know what I'm saying you have it in the military service and everything like that, but you don't have it over here in the state side. And there's a reason for that because a lot of these. Mm. Um, and I'm looking at the sister right here. She got a I'm, nice I'm little turban on and everything video. like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's she's a fine-looking young, yeah. young woman, black woman, everything like that. And his intentions to put his hands on her and I to make her all familiarly mm-hmm. submissive was, to him. I get yeah. that. And that's, while she's with another that's my issue. Man, that's my issue. Like, the part where, and, yeah. and when I say my stance, my, my, my devil's advocate stance, I'm just telling this as a cautionary tale to us. I get, like I said, I haven't seen the whole video, so I can't educatedly speak on it. I just want to speak from a cautionary tale to if we're in these positions, I'm not saying give away your power, but I'm saying don't put yourself in the position of this. Because I I don't know what she said. I don't. So I can't speak on it. I don't think she had to say a damn thing in that outfit. Yeah. I don't, and there's and nothing to say that what she wore, you know, did anything I'm like with that. You. She did what she did. She reached you. and she reached. I'm not defending him. She reached. So nobody, and she please. Gave him her license. I don't want nobody to think I'm defending this officer, this bitch ass motherfucker. But they're alone in the parking I'm not. lot. They're exactly. alone in the parking well, lot. Well, three of them, because somebody's lot. filming. But it's his, one is his, dad, is his, his body camera, and it's a, the guy that she's with. But that's a well, submissive this is the role. body cam angle that I was Right. Okay. Was I'm going to watch it after. But, but there's no. Oh, Dwight and her dude was with her. Yeah, so he, he was been, right there. Exactly, because, hey, I'm sorry, I'm married. You, hey, I, 
We are never mind. Hey, what's what's understood don't need to be explained. Well, no. Duck, no. Duck, you already know. You was there with me and my wife, and when we, was, me and you, and we was finna. Yeah, and never when mind. I was thirteen. My yeah. mother got pulled yeah. over. Sheriff was finna get and his ass clipped. My mother got hysterical, and dude cut, got to talking about. He made her get out the car, and he got talking about if she didn't sign, he was gonna take her to jail. I got out the car. He started yelling at me about get out the car, but in my thirteen year old mind, I was gonna fight him off. And so my mother could get away, you know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't gonna let this dude I'm, I'm put his hands that. on my mother. Hey, in right, fact, right. I even realized at 13, jail. like, man, he could probably gonna shoot me, but I was willing to take that bullet, of course, for my mother. Mm. Hey, a my sergeant mama? pulled up and said, what's going on? And he said snake. she refused to sign. And he's like, she refused to sign, and he pointed at me and said, I refuse to comply his order to get back in the car, right? And I was like, man, fuck you, man. You ain't finna, you know, whoop de whoop because I was ready to go all in. This is my mama. The sergeant said, just write refuse the sign on there and let's go. I'm, I'm, and, and, that, and that was that. He wrote I refuse the sign. My mother went to court to fight it because she was determined sense. to fight it. Dude didn't show up and it got dismissed. We, we, but, but that was what the sergeant said. Because dude was like, I could take her in. Ain't I could no take man, her in. And, and ain't the sergeant no man said, man handle my wife in right, front of me. Right, refuse the sign. I'm going to tell you that just, now. Let's get the fuck out of here. And I was sitting over there, all 128 it pounds could be Joe of me with my little fist balled it up, be ready Barack. to go to war. Yeah, it could be I'm whoever. This dude, Barack Obama right tried to man handle my wife in front of me. His ass going to get Ooh. beat up. When he had her on the ground, I ain't going to lie. My Hell instinct no. would have probably, I probably would have ended up getting I'm shot. Just telling you. Because my instinct would have. You're not going to man handle my woman in front of me. I'm a man. I'm my just, instinct, I would have kicked my, him I'm a head. man. Oh, just on instinct and alone, I would have kicked him in The full vernacular, I'm a man. Yeah. This is not going to happen. We don't need no eyewitness camera. It's, yeah. it's only three of us out here. My dad told me something a long time ago. Only way three people keep a secret is if what? Two of them are dead. Thank you. But my thing is, is that anybody that's trying to give the officer grace and be like, well, no this way and this that. This dude is just standing there watching yeah. this woman on the ground. But the thing is about the officer. Uh, yeah. Oh, the thing about the officer is that. A lot of police, keep in mind, a lot of police know little tricks to basically piss you off if they decide to fuck with you. And that way, from a distance, they can look like they were being professional. But this person, is, so if anybody says she escalated it, ask yourself, what did this professional police officer do to de-escalate it? Mm. True. Yeah, but at the same, but you have, here's the thing, I'm, I'm, here's the thing. And I'm not excusing this officer's actions. I'm mm -hmm. not in no way, shape, or form. When they own you, just be still. That's mm -hmm. wise. But be emotions. still. I get it. Mm -hmm. Be still because even their body camera, they could try to flip it and they'll show the media only a certain percentage of the video. Good thing her dude, which I'm going to say this, bruh. You a different motherfucker from me, cause Wait, I couldn't have filmed that shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm. 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 A, I, I, Fuck I, it. Think, I probably would have got I shot, under, but I, I would have. I, I, I. I'm trying to understand, and I think for the, for the sake of the social media age that we live in today, he wanted to be like I'm videoing this, this but as my that's my queen, that's I my that's my sacra, that's my root. I'm sorry. My eyes are on the ground. We, and I'm looking at your tennis we, shoes. We and we just we finna things. interact. I'm my sorry. Life, my life might be. We end finna interact. Right. I'm just saying. I'm just keeping it a buck. We gonna interact. You know what I'm saying? We gonna men yeah, men men saying. do. I don't give a fuck about his master nothing. Police, president, secret service, Navy SEAL, whatever. If we gonna interact. The, if this is the woman I've chosen to live my life with, I'm also we gonna, gonna interact because you're not going my life even if it's just way. like, bro, hold on, let me let me talk to her, and even if it's just like, hold oh, yeah. on, babe, unless chill, unless just, that's his partner, babe, unless that's his partner. Mm, I'm just saying, he real real still from, from, real. from we not high level, we not finna still. this shit not gonna transpire. I don't need no video. I'm sorry, that's scary, but um, yeah, I don't need no video. Because I already told you my philosophy. And you know, one another trick that police do is when they're taking you down, they're beating you, they keep saying stop resisting. Stop, yeah, that's the first mm -hmm. thing. Stop resisting. Because they want the if witnesses you, to have to say on trial, he did say stop resisting. Right. 
and then that justifies the use of force. So they'll take you down, be bending your arm behind your back, this and that. You already and, know and, my and story keep, on that one. And keep yelling. They'll keep yelling. And all I these old moving. tricks that they do. To stop make moving. It. So anybody, once again, anybody giving that officer any grace, you, you have to remember, moving. there's a certain set of tricks that they are trying I'm to use serious. to be able to use justifiable force against you. I'm not you saying be a punk or be a victim. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is be smarter than the average yeah. bear right. in these situations. Yeah. So mm -hmm. having if, her bent over in a child pose in yoga, I'm just being polite about that shit like that, with, his, with his hands on her ass, is a yeah. way that they That's, I would, I would, I would file all kind of... trained I would exactly, to arrest you. I, I would file all kind of charges and suits and everything on him uh, for uh, the shit, because... But at the same time... Okay, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, like I said, I'm not defending dude. I'm not. So, you got your opinion. You got to be aware. Oh, yeah, black man, dude was in you the, the wrong. future. <laughs> you the future. That's all I got to say. Like, yeah, he he a weird, he a weird motherfucker for that. Like, it probably escalated inside his mind too. So he's like, I gotta, you know, do what I gotta do. Like, I don't know what's going on with him. I bro, think his ego he's, got touched his, by her ego, refusal. Yeah. Her I'm just watching this video. I'm like, what? What took so long? Because it's a long ass video. Yeah, I'm like, I'm, I can't. Was I'm, it just in I'm gonna watch it after. What was the ticket for? First of they all, they were in the park. At, the, it was eleven fifty, okay. and the park closed at eleven. I've been oh, in the park by. Man, I, and they were in the park. I was, I was in a white tent. Actually, never mind. I ain't gonna tell y'all this story. It's none of y'all fucking business. Yeah. <laughs> never mind. I'll just say I was, I was caught in the park years, about over twenty some years ago, late night, and it was in a white city, and they was, and the cops was like, hey. The park closed. Like, oh, exactly. I wasn't by. I, hey, I wasn't by myself, and it, you know, would it be? But, and it was like, okay, uh, we was like, oh, our fault, and we got out the park. Mm -hmm. Right. I understood. I was a Negro, a, a melanated being. I had another melanated being with me, and we were in the park after dark, and we was like, okay, it's cool. And they were like, okay, now don't get me wrong. They could have been assholes because we was in a very white city at the, at the time. And it was, they, they missed, hey, we seen them coming, so we got prepared for them approaching. Mm -hmm. So we were back to normal Can we by the time the they got there. The uh -huh. Can we address the elephant in the room? Yeah. yeah. One of the elephants in the room is that sometimes black officers. Mm -hmm. This is a white a, officer. Have a, Sometimes, in this is scenario, sometimes no, black officers Berkeley. have a... Have a tendency to maybe maybe go a little bit harder on right. it. Pleasanton, Dwight. You know what I'm saying? Uh, white out. It was in Pleasanton. Like, sometimes, sometimes black officers have a tendency to go a little bit harder. Mm, yes, they because do. Because they have to be. Because they, they have, have to prove a feel, point. Exactly. And then someone really mm, like the average cop. Well, I'm not gonna say the average cop because I ain't been pulled over by every cop in the world. But a lot of cops that I personally have encountered okay. seem to be on a little bit of an ego trip, right? And mm -hmm. sometimes in the black man, white, a black woman inner thing, a lot of brothers kind of maybe get a little bit extra aggressive if the sister ain't automatically just mm -hmm. bowing down to him. So you factor it, in the police officer, right. her lack of being submissive, right. and I think that that fueled a lot of... He was smart enough to present it like, police. I give yeah. you a chance. He was smart enough to present it in mm -hmm. a way that made it look like... Uh, for the camera. Exactly. But he was I, performing for the stage. Children. But I think are, that... His, that motherfucker was the third actor in Hamilton. But I think a lot of his animosity towards her was fueled by simply the fact that she did not you a woman him and, and you not respecting my authority and my cartman from South Park or exactly. how about it that they're still overseers and they're going to do this slave patrol we fucking regardless exactly and I'm regardless you. of you know their uh, skin tone it's still blue it's not anything else Thank and you. so what he was doing was reaching his quota for man. tonight because it didn't sound like she had Reaches. a warrant That's for anything like that like I told you and I pulled over today like, it's just like you know and another white town when, when if you see like a couple in the parking my lot was the lovely. woman was not under distress the young man was not under distress both of them are not under distress all yeah. you had to do was just like hey y'all need to leave you know what i'm saying exactly. you don't need to leave but the fact that he targeted the woman who was who he's was, a thoroughtar who was a good looking black woman in a certain she probably like that. Oh, i didn't mean to cut you off go ahead i'll tell you i'll tell you, you this i'm saying don't you know what i'm saying 
that 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 never needed none of that needed to happen except if you had a certain alternative mo motive with that I and the fact that the fact that her car is going to be impounded that costs a certain amount of money, money. Mm. and i think in, this says atlanta right yes yeah. atlanta okay so, so atlanta the I'm black like, mecca so Atlanta, there's a certain protocol oh. for you to get your car, car out. That's mm -hmm. a certain couple of thousand right there. It's, you know what I'm you saying? Hold. You know your your you know your license yeah, and everything like that. Really that's a couple of thousand mm -hmm. right there. So basically, what they're doing is you know what I'm saying Putting they're charging. Financial bond. They're or trying to, but everything else is like this is like money for the city. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or exactly. he's making his he's making the money Florida. for the city out of something that does not need to be. I'm sure, I'm uh, quite sure I'm quite sure that there is a crime somewhere else happening at that moment. But let's get to the psychological <laughs> crime. So now I'm gonna dig in on him. In Atlanta yeah. somewhere let's, at that minute that he right. could be looking in that area. Let's go deeper. Can I go because deeper? Because that you know go deep. Oh, you, I'm, I'm gonna go deeper. Can I get a refill? Yes, ma'am. You pour so your own troubles. Thank yeah. you, sir. Yes, you know, you know me, it's all good. I'm gonna go deeper. This uh, I'm gonna call him black, Why? officer, because he's a crayon. He's in the box. Uh, let's just say, because I'm gonna go there, and you guys will get this at three in the morning. You, you, and you people who are smarter than the average bear will get this right now. Let's just say, said officer, this woman reminds him of somebody that rejected him in high school, junior high. Uh, I saw college. Five years uh, before. Exactly. Personal. It, you know what I'm saying? Personal the, the, with these motherfuckers. He, something triggered. Crazy. I'm just saying, something triggered. Some rejection or something, and he feeling, oh, you you disrespecting my authority. Like, I, I give y'all gems. And reminded him of the girls in high school. I give y'all gems all day. I hope y'all pay attention, please. A lot of people live in trauma from high school right now, taking it out on the world. Man, I wanted to date her, and she wanted to date the the, the dude that Anybody was five that remind you years of her, out of high school. They get the business. <laughs> Cause they ain't gonna talk about that. You can, you you missing a whole R word about this person. I'm just trying to say this right now. You know what I'm saying? He is an R word in mm -hmm. uniform. Um, oh yeah. And so you can say it. You don't have to be nice until someone else call for backup. Because once that um the I think it was a woman cop, another black woman cop that came officer yeah. that came onto the scene, everything like that. See, it, everything the, the, the energy changed immediately. She can. helped her with a strap of her dress, uh -huh. which the guy was definitely trying to uh, maneuver, uh -huh. and put her delicately into the car. That's what you need and, a woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, woman. not always, not always. But I think when the black woman sure. came up on scene and saw that the situation, she had, she understood. She initially understood because a woman's so, you know intuition saying? and you, nurturing. People talk about bad apples on your forces and everything like that. Blah 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 and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? All this stuff like that. When you have certain R, ass when you have certain R words on your force, mm -hmm. and we have and there are a lot, and we yeah. we are in Oakland, we know that there's a you know a whole, whole <clears throat> scandal about teenagers and officers and blah blah blah. Oh, you know oh yeah, oh mm -hmm. yeah, we know about that mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, we sh this woman, young woman, has a body cam to 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 show this, and it's and I guess it's going nationwide. It went viral and everything like that. You know, what I'm saying whoever whoever her attorney is, you know, what I'm saying. I, I day. It's do probably gonna be your pick this shit apart. all day, every day. Go after this um, other officer. Definitely. And, you know what I'm saying, make sure this young woman, you know what I'm saying, never has to have her knees, keys, keys. you know what I'm saying, be scuffed up like that ever yes. again and looking at the feet of her man or whoever this other dude yeah, that was with that her. Was, and in helplessness. And she didn't break up he, with him first thing. And in he the didn't move. She got out of custody. She needed to he break up with him. It's, it's a double-edged sword man, because I, without I, his video, we wouldn't hear this. Never So, but at the same time, I, I can't. If I had to choose between, y'all all know my story, or you ain't fucking with us tonight. Mm. You ain't fucking with us tonight. And I also want to go back to your overseer comment. A lot of the overseers and stuff like that. Sometimes the worst overseers is black. My brother. Yes. My because you gotta my you gotta did, prove yourself to your, to your to your twenty years pilgrim in that over mm -hmm. your Louisiana. pilgrim lord that you at night you when the, the guards would leave at night they didn't have enough budget to have overnight guards so they picked certain inmates mm -hmm. who had the overseer mentality and they would literally hand them shotguns. Wow. Think about this. This is Angola prison in Louisiana. They would hand them shotguns and let them know that if anybody tried to escape, handle your business. And two or three times during the week, when the guards would come back because the budget cuts, they didn't have overnight shift, they'd come back in the morning, and these guys would basically kill anybody that 
didn't bow to them, and the state of Louisiana would write it off as justified homicide or they tried to escape or whatever. So sometimes the black overseers are harsher than that. They, so many true. inmates got killed by other inmates with shotguns in Angola that the feds had to come in and take control of the prison. So many lawsuits. Mm -hmm. But man, the overseer mentality is so heavy. And you got to understand when you're interacting with police, keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. A lot of them aren't look at, don't look at themselves as a public servant. Mm -hmm. They don't look at themselves as to protect and serve. They look at them as your overseer, and mm -hmm. that's how you get a Sandra Bland. Massive you get all favorite. these people but dying. But isn't Angola, I may or may not be right about it, isn't that one of the prison systems that actually has an actual cotton farm and an actual yes. plantation yes. of, mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. fruits and vegetables and other stuff? Is, don't they actually mm -hmm. have a contract with the state to manufacture yes. furniture for the Senate and yes. other things like that? Yes. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's a promotion to the house. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? It's a, you know what I'm saying? Yes. In order for someone to Angola get into... Angola is one of the harshest prisons, mm -hmm. period, in living conditions, and they work... And you, when they send you in Louisiana to Angola... It says in part of your sentence, you are sentenced. Like out here, they'll say we sentence you to 20 years. In Louisiana, they'll say we sentence you to 20 years of hard labor. Of hard labor. They actually put that into your sentence, mm -hmm. that you're going to do 20 years of hard labor. Right. So isn't wasn't there it's, a process in order to get that quantity minutes. of people to be able to be managed that? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not sure how many acreages that there are out there. It could be like a it's thousand massive. acres. It's yeah. massive acreages yeah. out there like that. But see, all of those are things are private prisons as well. You know, uh -huh. partially associated with that. When they, they close down the private the prisons money. and say they but wrong, they but prisons off. like Angola are but you factories. Also, but you also lose your voting rights. Yes. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Or you become a voter. Or you, or you become a voter become population right for another county. Sure. But you're also very much, you know, what I'm saying back but, into a slave well, system. Well, they will count the, them as right? like, like, like let's say amendment, whatever county is in. They will count them as residents in order to give them more Voting representatives more in the Congress, the, yeah. but they don't allow them to actually vote. Exactly. So, but at the it's same time, mirrors. they feed other yeah. corporations. It's a it's a you know what I'm saying? So you have to have a quantity, you know what I'm saying, of those folks in, in order to do so. Mm -hmm. You know, but, you know, and yeah. none of that is right. You know what I'm saying? None of that is correct. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? America never left a slavery system or sh child right trafficking system. They're it just transmuted like that. to They're another never going Watch that they documentary. What was that documentary that Ava DuVernay did? It didn't transfer nothing. It's what the that? same thing. They're never what that documentary to. she did called The 13th? It was on that. Look, 13th Amendment. That. That and and that it shows how slavery directly evolved into the prison system that exactly. we have today. Right. Yeah. Because in Angola, because they're smart they have to, since they have these contracts with all these different corporations to provide cotton, to provide this, they have to keep the inmate population at a certain level. So since they have to keep their numbers down, they are very <laughs> resistant to reform Anthony, because I'm reform would allow you. a lot of people to get out. So they literally have to have a certain amount of bodies in there. Yeah. They started suing the states because they weren't filling the quotas once people started understanding yes. what was going on. Yeah. You got to understand, this is a business. Because if a private prison signs a contract a with the state and they're supposed it's to have 2,000 inmates, Just the like state this has to provide this is not a country. This is a corporation. Inmates. One of my other brothers ended up in a private prison in Oklahoma. He's supposed to be here, but because the, the state of Oklahoma had made a deal, mm -hmm. they then reached out to California. Send us some of y'all niggas. And said, if y'all got overcrowded, because California got sued for overcrowding. Mm -hmm. So Oklahoma shows up and says, hey, California, I, I can help you with your overcrowding. Send them niggas Just send my you way. over here. Send but then they, did, they went from a state prison here in California to a to private a prison, prison in Oklahoma mm. working in, in these factories. That's the and, sound And then there's been all kinds of lawsuits going on, on but chain. you don't read those lawsuits. At the end of the hour, no, don't you know hour, that's the sound No, actually, that. actually in Oklahoma, mm -hmm. they were paying them 40 cents an hour, and they were touting that as if it was Keisha a good said thing. the live skipping. And the firefighters... In the state, the state firefighters yes. that they got fighting, they they pay them two dollars an hour. But guys are going out there dying or getting permanently disfigured oh, the fighting prisoners. these fires. Yeah, yeah. But but because they're paying them two dollars an hour, they think it's no. You got people fighting fires 
in the forest and you're paying them two bucks an hour. Come on, man. Right. That's slavery. I'm man. out here saving <laughs> lives and you motherfuckers giving me half a Happy Meal. What? And here go the Whopper. When California, when they pay you a certain amount of money, can we turn this at the end now? of your prison, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, you, you that, done, you said No, it. because I keep, every time I look away, I just keep seeing the background she's on the ground. Yeah, I can't, I can't watch that right now. But did you know this much about California I can't prison? watch that. Some of these guys do 10, 15 years in prison making the 20 cent an hour or whatever, so they get mm-hmm. five or $600. Well, you know, when you get sentenced in California, they have what's called restitution. Yeah, mm-hmm. you got to pay that. So when guys are about to get out and you think, well, when I get out, I got this $900 that I've made over these years. Mm-hmm. They take the $900 that's, that's, for that's, your like, oh, restitution. Because yeah, you paying me for me housing you. Exactly. Don't think you get free. Hot. They tell you the the, 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 the misnomer, the, the, the fake game is three it's hots in a cot. <laughs> no, your shit ain't free. You paying for that shit. In the long run. I'm paying Ain't the for game it, too. Cold. We Ain't the fun. game cold. But the worst game is, it's just like wherever location that you get with. Real. Like you go with like a family member or something like that. Or if you finally find, you know, you know, after you get out of the boarding institute, like they put you and stuff like that, and you mm-hmm. go into a family member's housing and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? If that restitution isn't paid or if it's delayed or if it gets messed up in the court system or the file just fucking disappears, you know who put, who would put a lien on the house for? Mm-hmm. The place that you're staying at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, my house ain't going up for nobody's bill. Which is Sorry. why they're so racist. Hey, what's everywhere. up, Peaches? And you know, the funniest thing, what they used to do back in the days when I was a little kid and my uncle's never been on parole, uh-huh. they would come through randomly and literally turn over everything in the house. Like, they'd mm-hmm. go in my grandmother's room mm-hmm. and they turn the bed over and break, yeah. break her headboard and do all... Do all just terrorize the house to grandma be like, you niggas can't parole to my house because I ain't gonna have these these people running through my house. Now they've changed that to where if somebody paroles to your house, they if they come in, they can only search the living room, the kitchen, any common areas. But they can't go in. But back in the days, they would go in your your grandma room and break her stuff to create a scenario where people would be like, oh, you can't come here. But they didn't send the best officers to do that thing. They sent the ones that were on, you know, the the worst list of the yeah. officers. Yeah, the ones who failed out the po- police academy would be the ones that would become parole there officers. Go. There you go. So right. you did have, and let's not kid each other. Richmond and Oakland in the 60s and 70s mm-hmm. actually recruited officers from the South. 70s, mm-hmm. 80s, 90s, 2000s, Because 2000s, 2000s, they 20s. figured that the officers from the Alabama and Mississippi would come out here. And that's why police in Oakland and stuff like that make so much money mm-hmm. compared to police in other places. Because they, 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 w- they would say, we're going to pay you twice what you're making as a police officer in Alabama. Come on out here and basically regulate these Negroes. And so Richmond Come, and Oakland in the 60s we had police buses. forces that was That's so... They, they had That's what police they forces that was so brutal God, that that, that was the good. conditions that created Huey Newton them. Huey Newton them and the Black Panthers' first fight was against how rough the police was treating people in Richmond. Mm. That was the, that's what the, but that's how brutal they were. Let's sit, let's really talk about it. Yeah. Let's how they were treating the black sisters at that time. Mm-hmm. That's really how it yeah. came about because if you have to go to your, you know, college classmate and tell them why the fuck you were beat up, why the fuck you got all these bruises on your face mm-hmm. and everything like that, it's really because it was the sisters. Not necessarily just the brothers, but they had to come to alarm to arm black sisters at that time frame. Because, I you just, have you know what I'm saying? Protect it's the tree. If you do not protect your root, which is the foundation of your black womanhood and melanism, mm. you know what I'm saying? Who Say are you that. actually protecting? Who are protecting? you? Mm. Say that. So you have a brother like Huey, and there's a lot of there's a there's a lot of discussion about yes. you know what I'm saying. There's complexities if I'm putting it nicely. But people right. act like it was people was act like it was ancient you history, but my mom then that was around nice. when all that happened. Yeah, we're not that long ago. I'm gonna get on that. Oh. Uh, I'm so oh, disappointed we in don't, that cat. Can yeah. we, okay, can you just say uh, that? Ready? You know what I'm saying? We're going to end it with that, but you okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so in the morning, you get all the rest of the stuff, and then come yeah, on to that. You get all the I'm dope really, shit, but now I'm a, I'm a, we're going to... Can I say one thing really, first? Yeah, no, I, what you want to say? I just want to say, there used to be a saying that money can't change a lane. Uh-huh. Irv Gotti uh, is go- proving that point. Mm. So, before... Let's give them some context. How do you, transi- how you transition? Yeah, how you transition? Well, like it go, well, for me to transition to it, it's in the defense of the melanated woman. Okay. That, that, that'll that be my transition. Mm, let's move. 
I thought you were just going to try to get happy real quickly. I'm, I'm a defense of the melanated woman. So, we watch. Well, I've seen clips of the recent uh, Drink Champs interview with Irv and Ja Rule. And, uh... I need to watch the clip. He just saw the clips and stuff, right? He saw the clips. Little little highlights. And Irv, um, was really sounded sour. He had sour grapes in his mouth. Mm. Sour. His heart was hurt. And as 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 a melanated man... I'm going to just say, you know, there's some things, men, remember, hey, mental health, men can cry. You go cry in the car. Get over that shit, and then you come out and you do what you need to do. But the way, and this is my personal opinion, um, I think the way that he carried on and was overly bringing attention to an old situation, because I, I'm... Right. How old it, was the situation? 20 years. Their situation is old. Well, maybe 15 years. Tw- tw- two old. decades old. 15 and and years name dropping. Here's the thing. At least if, if. I will, I may speak on a situation of past, whether it was, whether the experience was good or bad, I'll never name that person like this or say something to be derogatory, derogatory towards them personally. Mm-hmm. Would you bring a watch and mementos to the occasion? No. Are you sure? Um, would you take it off and read it in front of everybody and just let them know? No. Would you subscribe and just, you know, go back in time and just sit there and just let them, everybody know just how much, Mm-mm. how much? Because here's the thing. You either cry about it in the car or you or you leave it alone. You yes. That interview, because I was, you know, his whole thing on, and for y'all that don't know, I'm pretty sure you do know, him and Ashanti situation where... Don't get me wrong. He was married. Whether he was separated from his wife, whatever going on, he would go there. And don't get me wrong. I'm gonna tell you right now. Shanti's fine as hell. I'm married, in motherfucker. Mm-hmm. And, hey, and y'all that know She's me know. She's a beautiful woman. <clears throat> My wife was pregnant. We was going somewhere, and somebody was like, "Is that a son? You, you already know that story. Never mind. I ain't gonna go there because that that's gonna be derail. Your past, but it's Shanti, your past. No. Okay. So, like I said, that was some whole ass shit. Mm. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell her like that. I put it to you like this. I felt that since I I still got a middle school mentality. Ever since middle school, I never wanted to look like a lame. That was some. You know that was saying? some so whole ass shit. Never wanted to look like Take a your lame. L's and go cry in the car. Take your L's. If you take your L publicly, that's fine. Just be like, man, you know, some that situation. Boom, boom, and leave it be. Even if, don't even speak on it. But if you do. Keep it extremely cordial because one, you had Ja Rule who her and him do her and they do business together, shows and everything. You put him in a very precarious position, running your mouth drunk. And don't get me wrong, we sit here and drink, yeah, cause and ja I talk was, shit because Ja was sitting there giggling. So if I'm her, and he was like, like I cut bro, your wallet too, because they yeah, because he's brought to her. So you used to hit. You used to tap to Shanti. Hey, Mopa. Hey, bro. That's what. I, but that's as a what black, he said. That's what he said. That was his point of view of what happened. Everything like. Notice that she's not speaking on it. She like ain't that. supposed to. But, but, is there something to speak on? I'm, I'm gonna tell you something is, I learned as there, a young is age. Is there something to speak on? Elephants don't deal with the opinion of ants. No, they just step on them and keep moving. But one of my uh, things is that is that because if I'm she no she, if she responds, then that just keeps the story going. I'm no mama's boy oh, yeah. by no stretch of the right. imagination, but I was very protective of my mother. If I'm Irv's oldest kid, I would be feeling some kind of way about him talking about his fucking jump off while he was married to my, my mama. mama. Thank you. Like I would be like I would be like if I'm one of his oldest kids, even if I loved right, him Lamar. and respected him as right. a dad, I still would be like. For real, hey, nigga? Don't, she, man, don't have moms out she here. She really has, Don't get me wrong. You know, I'm, like I said, I'm I would, married. I would, I would have a, a, I would have a problem. If I'm his oldest kids, I would have a problem with yeah. him making my mother look stupid. But he did say that he was with other women as long as was up. But Ashanti was But they were still married at the he, time. He, he, his favorite. Was, he, gay, he was gay. I'm he sorry, was gay. Oh, he stupid. was solely in a relationship with Ashanti. That's from his saying. But no one else was in a relationship with him. But all the same, at the end of the day, we sometimes project yep. certain things onto people, and we give them maybe status they in. So don't do before boyfriend this, we would have gave her a status of a legend, and now he's looking like a lame. a lame. 
He just literally down. And I'm if sorry. I'm one of his kids, I'd be like, come on, dude. That shit wasn't cool. And like, I believed in dude you that in his process. No, I'm talking about before this, before this second shit. Oh, I'm saying like, the, his process. What Because remember, the, the feds and the way they came after him, yeah. the real story of why they came after them, mm-hmm. when they was really trying to form a, a hip-hop, a, art, a musical union. They, what name did he you know, try to incorporate? I'm just saying. What, what name would you try to incorporate? The murder ain't murder. murder, murder ain't I get that. But, but you got to remember. The commission or whatever, right? But God, was he trying to be Gotti? Yeah. Like, it was like the name like that? True. But that's that's the misnomer because but most. What ethnicity is he? I know. He's black. Is he? He's. I believe so. Are you? He, but so where is, did he get the, his what, name is Irvin Levento. Yes. So where name. was he trying to go with the Gotti though? Because mo- look at you look at you look at you look at all a lot of man. rappers, different artists. They they put their names after famous, infamous white people. A oh, lot of them do it. They always that's have, stupid. and and they they will continue to do it. Don't get me wrong. You got some people who you go all full original, but a lot of them do that. Because that's... And why is that? Because they think white is right. You get that at three. That man let it all out. Fuck it. Put it on the table. I tell her what it is. You think white is right. But back to... Not even... Back off that point, but Irv was in his feelings on a a platform to where it wasn't worthy. It wasn't newsworthy. It wasn't... If you got mad about... That situation, man, you let it be. Don't get me wrong. We all took L's. Mm-hmm. But you have to, I, I, I would think of it You're on a different, different level of a power of authority. Right. You know, something like that. One, he still owns her masters. You know what I'm saying? He don't own Two, them and he's not well, no, going to She re recorded them. She re recorded her whole first album, but, and that, he salty. But, you know what I'm saying? One, there was Jeez. a power structure. How mm-hmm. old was she That's at the time work. that he said all of this occurred? She was young. And, 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 and something like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, like, we have an issue of a certain man of, like, I want to say he was at least 12 years older than her. I'm being... Power structure. You, know, yeah. power you said, structure I got like it. Like I know that. where you're going with it. And the fact that she was a natural talent. She was a natural talent for many voices that used her... Songwriter, I'm not saying names, but there's Jennifer Lopez. We looking at you. She was the bag. Ashanti was the bag. But Mm -hmm. she was a natural talent. Yes, you know what I'm saying. She was a natural young woman talent that had multiple, you know, I'm saying eight ways to make her own and own streams of Mm -hmm. income. Like we want to say anything like that. But she had a power structure that was, uh, you know, oppressing her. You know what I'm saying? Did she partake? Who knows? Mm-hmm. I don't think she needs, she needs ever needs to fucking answer that or anything like that. She but why was there a power don't. structure like that? That she could not balance. own her own masters. If he was she not in a situation crazy. where he was game. over that stuff sad. like that, not only just like just pay her the right price for it before someone else entity comes to comes to the corporation and takes it like that, just pay it. There was no reason for her to re-record any of that stuff like but that. That was the fuck you. But because he spoke on years wait, ago, that's why she did. Wait, 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 wait. But that's not what's the only power structure that was above her because she also had was possibly involved, I'll say that, allegedly involved with other people that were in the industry who could have bought those fucking masters for her. Do you know what I'm saying? So if there's not a power structure from a woman but who has a... But good thing if Irv is willing to deal because he wanted that she leverage She is a natural her. talent. She is she's very, a natural talent. She's very. Writer, she's talented, songwriter. She's natural she beautiful. Can, she's all of these different things that she can be and everything like that. But the fact, the fact is, who stepped in to help this young lady when this when they oh, knew no like one. that? No one. Yeah. Everybody's who smart. Who stepped in just like to, 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 to take over this like that? You know what I'm saying? I, mm-hmm. And I don't want to mention. I don't want to mention like you know like you know certain you. other celebrities. You know what I'm saying you. like you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. a husband who bought his wife's masters for mm-hmm. her. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what you fucking do. You know what I'm saying? When you protect your woman and everything like that. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Like that. You salute but your she queen. was also in the industry for many years. She's been in, you know, damn near fucking, you know, 25 or 30 years, everything mm-hmm. like that. 20. Looks good with it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Aged well with it and like that. No but kids. there was people after Gotti that should have bought her fucking masters for her. If she couldn't do it at the because he was holding her the fuck up because of his emotional ties. Exactly. Which we can all fucking see at this it point. Dudes like who that. hold on and bitter. And he he appeared and I'm I'm once again. I'm very highly disappointed in him mm-hmm. by his... He went downhill in my... In my he life. lost hella cool points, and that's just what we, we like, nigga, you lost you hella, hella him, cool points. But how many after did not support the sister in getting her fucking masters? Well, them a lot too. Of, sometimes, maybe a lot of the brothers in the industry are sometimes operate on a platform or go along to get along. Yeah. So in order to... Or they just camp, see her, because you, you see her in that Chirac commercial, and no, I'm not objectifying her. Yeah. Well, I'm bringing the point of... 
these niggas was objectifying her. Because don't get me wrong, she is a beautiful woman. I, Lord Jesus. But now I don't believe it. But, 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 but Irv is Most in our high. age group. Yeah. Let's get the this nigga, from 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 a different he was in his feelings. Okay. What you feel about it? Man, I feel like I feel like it's, that's just what we see with a bunch of motherfuckers in the industry. That's just the that's just the industry. Like you, you think about the fucking Diddy. You think about you feel me, Birdman. You know what I'm saying? They put out the image that everybody running the train on Nicki Minaj. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And they, you feel me? But she she a boss, so she you know she did what she had to do. But I just feel like that's just the name of the industry, and it's. I don't know. We got to do something about that. But so what you're saying, if, if yeah. it ain't no fun that the homies can't have none. You That's know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We can, well, if we can't get, you know what I'm saying? If we can't have none of y'all, I don't even like that. We can't get your masters or like that. Mm-hmm. You know what That's I'm saying? Some ain't bullshit. no fucking way that that should it would be possible. As much as the black industry, and then, sorry, you going to sit down and say black. Like, yeah, melanin industry saying. and black women have put into the industry of the recording artist industry from when it was become vinyl and all that, or whatever you want to call it, something like that. Black women had held the title and everything like that. And Black what has suppressed the them? What has what? suppressed them with it like that? Either sexual, mm-hmm. financial, or oppression by their own dudes. True that. Now, in regards to Nikki, I saw this on Twitter the other day that people was on Nikki's helmet about mm-hmm. supposedly her husband is a degenerate. Mm-hmm. But someone like, pointed well, out that like, somebody somebody pointed out that said that. It's Nikki has been documented. Nikki has been <laughs> I don't so, know nothing about that, Keisha Keisha. I don't, somebody I don't know pointed about out that. that Nikki has been so exploited in the industry that maybe she felt so desperate to go get this guy because now she knew she had somebody who will shoot for her. Somebody who will go all in for her, like you said, buying the master, somebody who will champion you can't her. Afford that. That, but I'm just saying though, is that <laughs> niggas know now. You can't get at her any kind of way because she got a goon on her squad who's willing to go there. And you got to understand this nigga that. This ain't allowed within 500 this, feet of Chuck E. Cheese. But I'm just saying, though, is that sometimes when He's a woman a has been exploited in the industry, mm-hmm. it allows oh, somebody okay. to come in who might say, I, you know, I hear you, like, but for I'm instance, Aretha Franklin was once married to a guy who we was gonna, one of the mob bosses. I don't want me to burn Detroit. down the, the buildings and with people her said, shit. Why on earth would Aretha Franklin see a dude? And everybody said, Because with dude behind her, niggas knew right, not Keisha, to play. Right, probably was for yeah. protection. Niggas knew not to play. Um, right now, niggas know not to play with Nikki. Like, Meek Mills at one point was playing with Nikki. He see her in place, he fuck with her. Now since she got on dude, there's a video of dude confronting him in a video store like back up. Now he can't play with her. With the dude she got now, even mm-hmm. though he's a certified low life, mm-hmm. in her eyes she might be like, but he's a nigga that can protect me mm-hmm. from the niggas that's been exploiting me. Yeah, the, the the folks that he's going after is not other dudes. It in 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 the legal system and other women have just basically said it's it's historically have not been other dudes that he goes after on a regular basis. And I'm mm-hmm. being very kind. Of but I'm just saying I'm mm-hmm. giving Nikki the benefit of the doubt of why she would select. No. A dude like okay, that. No, Keisha. Th- there's, there's, and there's other. Uh, mm, I'm trying to be I'm, kind. Like Keisha with said, she here, she was in the bad space. I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm like, not a breast. Like, 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 like look at Keisha's thing, comment. Is Keisha's comment is she was, she was, in, she was in a bad space. space when she got with him, and that's true. She was really in a bad space. So that's I, that's about three times in her life she was in a bad space with that dude, and in between those crimes that he did, and then it was convicted of him, and there was valid crimes that he convicted of, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That That is not just, a, you know, there's plenty of other legal dudes and, 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 lo- but and are there under-leveled. legal dudes who would have went to the mat for her like he would? That motherfucker I, is a Hey, Keisha, I know. We're going to set up a call. Like that. That's why I said he's a degenerate. Way. That's why I said he's a degenerate. And that's just a regular one. Appreciate you. Let me give you a real story. Hey. One time I was in the middle of some negotiations for myself. She got enough myself. money for all them. She has enough money for all her hair and everything like that. Who she got enough the money point, for Keisha? different kind of private security and everything like that. You know that's what I'm saying? That's true. It's but, a whole different situation. But one time in the 90s, I was in the midst of some negotiations, and shit wasn't going smoothly, and there was a particular cat that I know who would qualify as a mass murderer, and I ended up bringing him to the table because I needed a motherfucker that need was that gonna go all in. You need for the me. boogeyman. And somebody, and when the other you people the who was negotiating with me said, 
why the fuck would you bring a nigga like him in the mix? And I said, because I'm tired of you motherfuckers playing need, with me. Need, and I need a motherfucker need a that if I man. say, you know what, kill all these did niggas. He, did you need a boogeyman. Get killed. Was that and that's real talk. I understand that completely. You need no, a boogeyman. But, okay, wait, wait, but wait, wait, I'm wait. just saying I yeah. felt desperate. Wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. So I brought this person into wait, the mix. Wait, was he so. convicted and did time and, you know what I'm saying, did you just assume it like that? You got to pick, no. Was that, was that? No. But what I'm saying, though, is that he was an extremely violent individual. But you know the different levels. I needed somebody to have you know, just a, and I seen what you're wearing tonight, and I seen you as often. I you know the different levels of what you can, what you can buy and then forward, yeah. and what the levels are and everything. Like once you hit that R level, that's a motherfucking different. But level. I'm just saying, I wouldn't have picked you. Dude, wouldn't, you but I'm just saying, any other but if level, you desperate. You don't pick the R level. I when you we, have we know that, that but we don't know how desperate she was. Of a population. Sorry, right. we don't know how desperate she was. You, you're you know, a woman. I'm just saying the you, situation you when I was desperate. You give birth, you get birth to the next generation. Niggas you don't, don't play you don't with affiliate me. Affiliate about my with money, about my time, about nothing. But wasn't her brother also convicted? I mean, I'm saying of mm-hmm. sexual, you know, sexual assault. But her brother wasn't a goon. I don't have. It don't matter. And they got a kid too. That was he. Oh my I'm fucking just God. Saying, Why though, is this even a, 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 a an issue? No, with what, that? what I'm saying you know is what I'm that. Because I'm saying, brother. dude was a degenerate. I acknowledge he was a degenerate, but I'm saying, though, is that. I don't know how desperate Nikki was, and I'm just saying there was a situation one time today, that I was desperate, if that dude and I brought today, in the worst in nigga situation. I knew. Hey, so niggas are stop playing with me. I don't know none of these niggas. You can buy they don't pay me, but will they have an emotional connection with you? There's plenty of security you can buy. To you know, if you had that situation, like that. I don't know but I'm just saying though, and, and don't get me wrong, sis. Uh, trust me, I'm not trying to downplay your point. Let me know. There's security hey, that I could buy to protect me from y'all, and there's niggas that I could bring to be like, but kill all these niggas. Is your R level security here? No. Oh. That's what I thought. What would the R level security be like? You gonna go and. Do that to them? Yeah. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I, I don't want that harness. person in my space. I'm, That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not making excuses for You're going to do nothing Nikki. for me. There's, You're going to do something for you. I'm not making excuses for Nikki. The musical industry and everything like that of security <laughs> that does not do that. That does not fucking do that. Is not convicted of that. It has not have a history of that. You know what I'm saying? Touch kids, you got to go. But it's not That's security. It's kids, like women, etc. like that. The like that. Gotta go. That, I, no, she. That's I, not just no security. She married that dude, and she security ain't killing nobody for like you. That. But there's homies that will kill people I for mean, you. Hey, was that the homie, or did she marry the dude that, and have that, a kid I, with them? Maybe she here's the thing. No I'm not educated boys. enough to speak for on it all because I don't know all the ins and outs of their shit. I don't. So hey. I can't give my official opinion on that shit. I don't know the shit. I don't. The thing is, I don't follow a lot of these motherfuckers, what they got going on, their cases and shit and whatever, because I really don't give a fuck. Read that case. Google that real... Th- I've heard seconds. the thing of, of some with case. touching kids and... No, some no, of that, no, 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 no. That was the brother. Let's talk about the person that she I heard that with. he can't be within 500 feet of a Chuck E. Cheese. It's, I, it's beyond Chuck E. Cheese. It's but I'm just saying beyond, what that means, what that entails. It's far if beyond you, her home fucking neighborhood. It's far beyond that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know the, the whole shit. Th- 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 Do you know how Shug Knight got his entry into the music business? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Because, you know, the reason why people be like, oh, there's rumors that Shug Knight beat up Andre Hill. You know why he beat up Andre Hill? Because Casey from Jodeci went to him and said, This, this nigga's nigga fucking me over. And while he was at it, you he need beat a bat, Andre Hill need... up and took... In Mary the music Jay industry, I will money. admit, in the music yeah. industry... You need a you need a boogeyman. Because niggas will play with you to the point where you need a boogeyman. But if you bring a person from my personal you need a boogeyman. If you bring a nigga to you the do. table and you be like, you know Sometimes what, you don't want to do. pay me what you owe me. I get it. You know I have to holler at dude. Sometimes you That's need a boogeyman. That's how Suge Knight really first got I'm into the game. I'm not saying that because he was the nigga Sometimes that Sometimes you didn't want to holler at. So you would pay what you owe. Sometimes you need. And I'm just saying, and, and maybe that's, that's the only, role that dude is Maybe that's the only refuse no, that shit. I don't, no, I don't really want to go into their shit anymore because, after like I said, they're not paying like me. That. And and well, he I came later in her career. No, he came before her career. And he came after her career because he was in a sentence for something that he had did. You know what I'm saying? Like I know that, he did some un... Un... Undefensible shit. I don't know. If it was your mama... I would have killed him. Okay, if it was your mama... Huh? If it, that had been your mother, oh, I, I don't know you. what it is. Uh, if but it you, had been your mother, you sneeze on my mama and I clip you. 
I don't know what it is, but I know it's horrible. <laughs> a knife to the uterus. It would have been your mother. You sneeze oh, on my mama and it's bad. <laughs> so like, I mean, like, I once shot a nigga for yelling at my mama. Okay, wait, you wait, wait, sneeze wait. on okay. my mama and it's Fuck curtain. It. So I shot a nigga for yelling at my mama. I, so I, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't no question about how far I would I go. I don't know. Like I said, I don't I know. The, I don't. Shit. I'm, I'm being honest. Time for that shit. I'm not excusing it. I got the I don't know the full details, but niggas have gone down for the dirt nap for less. Hey, there's plenty of trans. My mama wife for yelling at her, nigga. I hit him with. One shit, fuck it. But there's like, there's like, so, yeah, yeah, I would kill this nigga. I don't, I don't play about What's the reasoning behind him I got even being in that position with her? Like, yeah, so I would kill the nigga for my mom. It's facts. You know, why would you even have that person around you, let alone your? But I'm just saying, maybe that's how creates your children. I'm not giving you. dude the benefit of the doubt. I'm just saying that she might have been so desperate. Glasses, and being a woman like out there in the no, industry, no. that this was the most ferocious nigga she knew. No, and she we're gonna, gonna, we're gonna have to do like an ending toast or there's, something. There's, gonna, there's, y'all there's. gonna y'all want to end toast? Cause uh, I'm, I usually don't and talk please, about them niggas. I'm not defending him. I don't. I, 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 I know you don't I know you are. I know. I know you are. But at the same time, some people are so motherfucking. I don't, bro. You just can't the fucking defend them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't defending them. Yeah, I'm not defending him. I'm not That's why I'm going to be on record that I'm you not defending him. You touch kids. Yeah, thank you, sir. You, de- you touch kids. You abuse women. Fuck you. I've always said that. That's always been my stance. Thank I don't you, give a fuck. Yes. The, the bottom okay. line is, but before we go, let, let's hear a little bit more from Zoe from a cat that's, that's younger out here in the streets right now and seeing all the shit that's 45 that's seconds or less. Give us your opinion. About... Just in general about the industry, about having to have motherfuckers have your back, all that type of shit Man, it's that a, you got to go through out here to, to make a name for a, yourself. It's a circus. It's a circus. It's a, it's a it's an industry, obviously, but it's like a whole, it's like a slave, I don't know, like, mm-hmm. a, like a slave trade, you know what I'm saying? People are signing their souls away for, for money that's not going to be there in a month, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then they subject to all this bullshit. That the industry is doing them like shelving artists when they give you an advance and then they shelve you, you're done. <laughs> you're done. Like, how you gonna make them albums? How are you gonna make them sales back? You're just gonna be forever in debt. You know what I'm saying? And that's not even mentioning what we're talking about. Like, people really trying to physically exploit you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I just think it's a it's a shit show. That's why I'm it's like, I'm reason. staying far away from it. Like, as a person who, who wants to be successful in the music industry, it ain't worth it for me. You feel me? I just want to... 2080? Like, crazy. People are shady. Mm-hmm. And what yeah. do you feel about it? I feel as, um, one, as a young mother, you yes. know what I'm saying, as salute someone that mothers. saw you at an early age and salute your true talent. Mothers. You Let's know just know salute to the mothers. Just, just salute just to the mothers. Salute to the mothers. To the, where, we, where, where we came from, salute the birth canal. The melanated you know woman saying? is God. I don't give a fuck who you believe in, but you better understand that because... Uh, unless you was a test tube, still your egg came from a woman. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, but, but I saw you at a very young age. You know what I'm saying? A very young age, and you were quite talented. And you are still quite talented, and everything like that. And even though that you have had possibly, you know, many challenges in the industry and everything like that, own your own yourself. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Still put yourself out there and own your everything like that. You know what I'm saying? Listen. You ain't got to have them type of other motherfucking kind of goons and everything like right. that. You do have qualified goons. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Regulated goons. Exactly. Everything like that. But you are too, is too talented. You know what I'm saying? To, and you are, t- man, you are so much of our environment and where we are and everything like that and out and everything like that for you to ever stop that skill and everything like that. And however you want to put it, if you do it, you know what I'm saying, in rap and spoken word, if you do it in audible and everything like that or whatever, if you put it into scripture and to, you know, into books and everything like that, do not stop your gifts that you have. And I know that you have those gifts and everything like that inside you and everything like that. Don't stop that ever. You know what I'm saying? Do own your stuff, but don't stop it. You know what I mean? And so for that, everything like that, you know, young young brother, young man, young king yes, that you hear, that. you know what I'm saying? Take a break, rest up, mm-hmm. but don't stop what you're going to do. Because I know Amen. for a fact that your words are very powerful. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, they, and they affect many other folk, people, and they affect everything that happens. Like that you are of a generation that is going to affect change and everything like that, and I know that about you. Mm-hmm. I know that about you. So, 
Fuck, man. Economics is time. Sorry, collect your checks, everything like that. Own mm-hmm. every motherfucking thing that you and do. And learn to write in cursive. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Trade market, own everything that you do Amen. from there, like that. But do not stop what you're going to do. And I don't say that it has to be a time, time frame, or nothing like that. Mm-hmm. Own all your stuff. You are no who we are. You know what I'm saying? Be you. Stay true. Mm-hmm. I recently, well, this is recent. This is a few years ago. A company, a company sent me. A company sent me a royalty statement for a film that I did, mm-hmm. and the gross was three hundred and ninety thousand. And I said, "Shit, mm-hmm. I'm rich." And as I read through the statement, uh-huh. and with the promotion, the the this and fees and this and that, and I scrolled through about two pages of stuff, and at the end, it said, Fuck "I you. actually owe them." $80,000. Oh, wow. Shit, fuck and, I, and I'm sitting there looking at this paper, and I went from, because we were supposed to be 50 50 on this year's bill, mm-hmm. and when I saw what it had supposedly grossed, in my well, mind, I started thinking, I thought the rest of the paper in the envelope was going to be my check for like 140 Gs, and I, I had know. already, and the Maybachs had just came out, right? Uh, and I was like, <laughs> I'm going to put this 140 Gs in my mind as I read through it. I'm going to put this 140 Gs on the Maybach, and I'm going to slide down seminary in this Maybach, and niggas going to have to recognize a boss. And you're going to slide down seminary with that. Right? And, but then as I kept reading, and mm-hmm. I kept reading, and I kept seeing, because everything that was a deduction was in these special brackets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I kept reading these deductions, and I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, shit, my 140000 must be going to be Drop like me. only 110 But that's still mm-hmm. going to be enough to get me a Maybach yeah. off the lot. <laughs> By the time I got through, and I started realizing that there was a, a negative sign in front of that, and I started saying... <laughs> Okay, what the fuck? You breathed on set, sir. You breathed a thousand and, times on set. That and at, and at the end, of, and at the end, it said I owed them eighty G's, and I was like, uh, no Maybach for me. In yeah. fact, I owe these people. Then they called me and said, did you get the royalty statement? I'm like, shit, because in my mind, I owe y'all eighty G's. And dude said, when is the next one? And I'm like, I'm what do you mean? When's the next one? You want another movie for me? Because. I owe you 80 G's. In fact, where I'm from, Cause niggas will kill you for owing 80 G's. And Blood was like, well, you know, we're going to eventually dollars, make make money in the long run. But that's we're eager get to get another it. project from me. And I'm that's sitting there like, the dog and, pony and I right there, I was like, no. <laughs> this isn't legit. All right. Did you feel the wood quickly or was it slow? Well, see, and the thing was is that, back, and the thing was is that, at the end of the day, so far in the years since then, this movie has probably, they've probably made about a million dollars off the movie. Mm-hmm. And now my the amount I owe them is about 4700 So the movie just got on Peacock. So eventually I'll be able to make 10 bucks, but they've already made a million. Hey, that's two sodas and a chalupa. But the thing was is that when you're in this industry... And I'm not going to lie, I'm going to give this to you. And some of y'all could be like, oh, you're an idiot. But th- when I originally signed the contract, they sent me a 39-page contract. And I didn't read the shit. Mm-hmm. That's your oh own God. fault. So I'm going to get, yeah, but I'm just saying, though, no, I ain't embarrassed to tell y'all. I didn't read the contract. Some of y'all going to be like, Jesus Christ, bro, I didn't realize you was that yeah, level of an reading. idiot. But I use that, let my we, example we all of short. them Nobody people, perfect. Them people making a million dollars off me. And them people have made... At least a million in profit, right. and I haven't seen a dollar yet. Mm-hmm. Let that be an example to y'all: is when they, when these distribution companies and stuff like that get at you for your product, when they get at you and they give you these contracts, read the fine print. <laughs> not only read it, you need an entertainment lawyer. But go on, on pay two, three hundred dollars to a lawyer to you need look a, it. You need an entertainment yeah. Take those lawyer. steps. Let let it, my dumb ass let, let the dumb ass shit I did hey, be a guy like. You crawl yeah, so they can walk. Right. Yeah. Um, do you sing Swing Low, Sweet Chariot uh, in the shower, or do you just cry to it late at night? I'm trying to figure out what you know what I'm saying. He cries in the car. Like I don't, I don't do you cry. Do you think I cut the, the whip at a daily basis? Is it, is it just, if I just slam I'm my hand I'm on the table, you don't feel that? What's goodness. happening with that? He just, like I that? know that. But you know yeah. what? I don't necessarily cry, but sometimes I look at, in the years since then, I look at some of the things that have happened to some of my family members, like illnesses, foreclosures, yeah. things like that. And all I can think about is if I'd have been more on my P's and Q's and got my money properly, I could have made a difference. Even if I never got the Maybach, I could have done so much more for the people around me if I would have handled my business correctly. Okay. So for me, so no even though I ain't gave up and I'm still in the game fighting, 
my, my, my gift to you is to say, hey, do not underestimate the levels that these people will go no. to fuck you over. Yeah. Okay. I like to read all yeah. the fucking documents before yeah. you even think about buying the Manac. Is that exactly? The, yeah. With all yeah. But even so, Bruh. but don't even trust to your own understanding. You finna have pay no that power three, in Pay like that three or four hundred dollars to have a legal person Can also I come look at this shit because segue? yeah. Thank you. In fact, you're in the movie that I got. <laughs> I know. I'm in all the movies. Yeah, you see me. Morning, about to get that means you was getting fucked over too. Hey, bro, <laughs> we live in this corporation. You see, you see, I you the whole I mean, see this is my partner, right? Hey, see, this is my partner. Somebody else might have came and said, hey, blood, I know you done made a million dollars off that motherfucker. I get two or three racks, and then I have to tell you, actually, blood, I didn't make a dime. And you're going to be like, Oh, Bullshit. nigga, I'm full of shit, because I know you ain't yeah, let them white folks true. walk off with a million dollars and me, you didn't get nothing. Uh, that's what they so, do. Let me or in there. What's up, Champagne? Or someone's trying to rob you yeah. and trying to come and get that, dude. Oh. All right. So now I'm from the real shit. Uh, so, speaking of next month, mm-hmm. we had Tommy T's, your birthday celebration. Yeah, September 15th. Mm. Tommy T. September 15th. Hosted by Dre Snack. Got my boy White Out. Going to be performing. White Out. And, uh, my guy, he and watching Rico tonight. The Rico the Great. Mm-hmm. We get we 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 Rico. You already know what's up. We trying to get you trying on. to gas you rock up to come get on the stage. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so cool. next month we had Tommy T mm-hmm. for my co-host birthday. We got uh what else we got? What's up, Peaches? Peaches, what's up? Hey, Peach says we you, you already we gonna talk. I'm, I'm gonna hit you in a minute. Uh yeah, cause you gotta get down here too. Same you with you, Keisha. Keisha, we gonna down in live. We gonna spit. Uh, it's been a lovely Friday. You know, I know y'all got hella shit y'all probably And I do. never told Keisha that story. I know she gonna bro- roast me later on about being an bit. idiot. Tapping in, champagne was good, bro, bro. You know what I'm saying? Square life. Uh, I appreciate everybody tuning in. But tell yeah, everybody yeah. where they can find y'all at real quick before I end this. Uh, like I said, I go by the name Zo One. That's my artist name. I'm gonna be dropping uh, music soon. Uh, Instagram is Zo One Love. You feel me? 42K family, family 42. That's what I rep. That's my brothers. So, yep. I'm the incognito at this time. That's so, what's up. Um, you can find her at I where she is. Be back next week. I might not. I might be asking for four hard weeks. I'm going to be where I'm at. It's like that. You're saying, but like, <laughs> hey, no. She you already to, know. True love. She knows it's love. love. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, say, like, say. She know. And um, true love. That's what's up. Uh, man. Always. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I'll let you know about that. She will holler at y'all when she hollers. And when she's I always, you already know, you always welcome here. But wait a second. I want to say Leo season, gang, gang. You know what I'm saying? Always, oh, always. You know what I'm saying? Shout to Leos. Our, no, I see they, don't, they don't budge Ooh. on nothing. Them Leos, you hey. can't tell them shit. Hey, you can't tell me. But here, you know what the, but here come yeah. the Virgos with the street sweeper. I don't hear none of y'all. I don't you know what I'm saying? We already know. know. Season coming up. The best season don't September start till after. Hey, it says like September 15th at Tommy T's. I'm personally going to be blessed with the birthday. stage. I'm going to put you like this. Come on. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I'm personally blessing the stage. I'm going to give y'all this seconds. real funny. But I also got, if you don't laugh, there's a guaranteed money back. However, you're going to have to get the Bullshit. money out of this pocket. And I don't think none of y'all is capable of doing that. No. <laughs> don't do it. That's yes, Pharaoh. You don't can find him at Pharaoh Films. He's hey, across hey, the hey, board. Toast it up. I'm hey. your host, Deshaun. I appreciate you celebrate y'all tuning the end in. of Leo season. Uh, what? Yeah, my shit empty. Never. But, hey, I thank you. Oh, I can't toast because it's empty, bro. I'm, I'm a true, I believe in, in the Party spirits. Party foul. Yeah, I, I don't do none of that. Deshaun is a Virgo. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. Appreciate you, you for tuning up, in. Yes, we toast. Get your Toast, on. cheers. Uh, a little bit of something in there. You got, <laughs> you know, you got something in it. Hey, I thank y'all for tuning in. Tune in next week. Uh, like I said, I guess I, Stevie, will, will be on next week. Uh, we we chilling. Uh, there's a... Let me say one more time. Three in the morning shit is real. This nigga ain't just Johnson. I, I give it to you I, real. I, 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 I'm never Jones. My last name is James, not Jones. Ooh. <laughs> My middle name is James. You know what I'm not saying? Not Jones. Was that the overseer or who was that? My older brother uh, is James. You know what I'm saying? Hey, no, for real though. Hey, y'all have a uh, blessed know. night. Uh, take care of yourselves. Brother. Respect <laughs> each other. Look out for each other. And we please stop people know. from doing <laughs> dumb shit. And at the end of the day, the day is over. <laughs> now it's time to say goodbye. 
To all my Negro friends. Hey, man, kick rocks.